Thursday night and you're tuned in to Beltway Radio and Beyond, which can mean one and only thing. This is Chip Chat. Welcome, welcome to Chip Chat. I'm Chip. Who are you, Tez? Not here. Oh, sorry, Tez. That's not here. He'll be here. Um, but thank you on the Bell Assist. Uh, that was uh, one of our amazing guests, which I don't know if you can see if you're looking on the video. You can see them. Uh, so Stacy and Haley are here. Uh, and they're here for a reason, not just to ring bells and wear tiaras, uh, which we're all wearing, uh, <laughs> because they're they're here to report from France. Okay. That's a real place, France. It is. I was not sure about that. I, I thought it was made up. <laughs> I really like that. Thank you. I hope you do that for the answers to all for everything we say. Yes. Don't worry. Yeah, Brian's got Thank a lot. You. <laughs> He's got a lot of buttons. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to ask them about the Olympics, which is why they're here and what we scheduled to talk about. Um, of course, the other thing that we have to talk about that we don't want to talk about is another school shooting because, yay, America. It's I mean, the school year just started. They, they made it a almost a week, a week. In, in that uh, county in Georgia. So, you know, setting records. Um we're going to talk about uh, Trump losing in court again. Uh, we've got a lawyer here. We're going to ask her about that. You don't have to have opinions that. on that. I don't worry. Neither was he. Breaking, ah! breaking the law is bad. I got well, this one bad. wasn't yeah. a, a breaking the law one. This is uh, not listening to cease and desist orders. Us. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, we'll examine the fate of various crabs in the bay. A uh, bunch of other stuff. Find out about some environmentalists in the golf course. I don't know. It's gonna be gonna be a wild show. It'll be a lot to a lot to cover. Speaking of uh, wild show, here comes this guy. Without a tiara. Without his tiara. tiara. I didn't. I didn't have another one for you. You can borrow oh. mine for a little while. I, I would have thought you would have had. So disappointing. I'm really. Don't sad. you don't you have like several dozen tiaras around? Yeah, right. They're on helmets, they're on everything. No right, excuse. when you have a, a no little girls of a certain age, you kind of have a lot of these things yeah, laying around. Um, anyway, Tess, you're here. I am. Sorry I'm late. Just in time for the uh, for the first break. NFL day. Yeah, right, you're wearing your jersey. Exactly, so all of those who still participate Future uh, San Diego Chargers uh, assistant know. coach uh, and Harbaugh protege, Colin Kaepernick. That's how you got to say it. It's a lot of spelling. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot. Well, then he'll be former. Yes. San Diego great. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, do you have a word? Uh, You're here just in time. I am just in time. Yes. Um. You get, are you, okay, Stacy's got a word <laughs> for you. That's okay. Okay, well, I... That, that, but now that makes sense. Yeah, but now I know what the word oh, is. Yeah, sorry. that can't. we can't do I that. can't do that. Uh, all right, fine. I got one. Okay. <coughs> so sit back, grab some crown. It's marshmallow time. You're listening <laughs> to the best show, the only show, Chip Chat on Beltway Radio and Beyond. Sweeps. <laughs> You missed your intro, so I, I had to do it for you. Oh. I said, you know, who are you? And 
I said, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> you just told him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I like that my, my Tez impression is like <laughs> the most opposite <laughs> sound. <laughs> like, I'm that yeah, meek. no, neither one of us. You know sounds what it sounds any- like? The, the the meekness from the you keep interrupting. Yeah, yeah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> you keep interrupting. All right, um, we're doing the thing again. Okay, uh, what we have to talk about so we can mention it because it's awful and then try to get it out of the way is this segment that we call or have various names for that's the same thing, which is the same thing keeps happening. Uh, so, you know, here's the script. Are you, you ready? A teenager, in this case a 14-year-old, got an AR-15, went to school, massacred a bunch of people, killed four people, injured a bunch more, um, and, you know, thoughts and prayers didn't work again, and, you know, here we are. There's a few different things, though. This story goes a little differently than that regular script. Number one... This kid was on the radar. Right. Had been interviewed in his own living room by the FBI a year, a year yeah, prior right. for, guess what? Threatening a school shooting. His dad has a bunch of guns, was like, ah, we have all these guns, but we don't let him have any of them. And the FBI was like, well, that legally checks out, so have a nice day. It and does, they left. It does legally, yeah. it does legally checks out. In the same time, like, lots of school shootings happen in Georgia, and, of course, nobody in Georgia wants to do anything constructive about this, so they passed a school security law, which said that schools should do something to make themselves more secure. It was a very good idea, Brian Kemp. And so they were like, we're going to try to do something to make ourselves more secure. And then they gave them a bunch of money with which to do that. But it's not enough money to do something like, I don't know, lobby somebody on gun laws, it's enough money to put up, like, windows or whatever. So this school installed a new badge system. Stick with me now. The badge system, which I believe the teachers, it's, like, on their ID badge, routes to a security system. So if there's a school shooting, they're so anticipating a school shooting that the teacher presses a button on their badge, like the life alert thing, And it alerts the school resource officers, of which there are two stationed there, that there's a school shooting that they've already planned for. You know, it's crazy you mentioned life alert there because I think about the saying on there. And this is just in a different terrible context. I've fallen and I can't get up. But no, all seniors need life alert. And we're talking like a different senior because that wouldn't. Nothing I would even I think, think of. Most of them were junior. The but, two but, that were shot were yes. But, but I'm just yes, saying, in the yes, concept of like, yes. it's a school where I wouldn't have even had that thought. When well, I was in seniors, high school. you know. So, as a classroom teacher, can yeah. I put a perspective here? Well, about are you alert? are you a concealed carrying? No, uh, and very against teacher. it because I've had kids steal everything from me. <laughs> right, literally <laughs> everything. The simplest. <laughs> yeah, they take your markers, and I'm like. I lose track, like, there's 25 of them and one of me. But the drills and everything that are so ingrained in students, and I think something to think about, there was a statistic, and feel free to fact check me, I'm not going to claim that this is 100% accurate, that there were more teachers killed in classrooms, like, in the last two years than soldiers in combat. But Could work. those two teachers that just got killed, guess what their, pa- their families get? Nothing. Yeah. Guess who pays for those funerals? Not the s- government. Yeah. Guess how much pension there is. Guess how much. You know, there's nothing when you think about people putting their lives on the line in a military context and teachers having to do the exact same thing and getting killed for it. There's no support for them. They we don't even get a discount at Denny's. The <laughs> idea of teachers. Like putting their lives on the prior line. to e- but even be like prior, prior to Columbine we yeah. didn't have that but we idea. didn't have, but even then like t- it's not like we were doing teachers right by the back right. then well, yeah, exactly. not <laughs> but, teachers very well but, but like you now to four add, you could die as well too it's crazy yeah, right yeah. Yeah. you're insane. also in charge of you know military precision life alert buttons what but think of Georgia is the same state where they sent teachers to jail because they thought they were cheating on standardized tests so like you mm. really they were cheating on standardized they, to be tests. fair they were and I used to tell my students all the time I'm not going to help them on that because I look terrible in orange. 
Um, and I'm not going to jail for them. But like, Damn. thinking about just education that as was a, a whole system wide and I what mean, Atlanta schools. Yeah, not things. just Georgia, but nationwide. Like, why do we have a teacher shortage? Um, I know. Like, look well, at what you're short asking two them more. to do. Yeah, I. The, okay. There's a lot to unpack here, obviously, but some of this is like the repetitive script, right? right. Is, is that, that yet again, measures that aren't removing guns from the circulation uh, have failed. They have failed. There are more dead people now than there were. There should not be, and uh, kids shouldn't have access to guns. And so that's issue one. Uh, and the uh, blame is not the teachers. No, it's <laughs> not the, te- cer- the teachers. Certainly not the teachers. <laughs> Look, <laughs> they didn't push their life alert into like stop blaming teachers. The resource <laughs> officers were the ones who responded and apprehended the kid, which is quite impressive because you know usually, my opinion of, of resource officers is usually fairly negative because I believe that they're mostly there to Harassing. create the, yeah to harass certain groups of people. There are the good ones. School to but prison there pipeline, but there are good ones. ones. And in this case, this was really just about convenience and response, and they were able to get there faster. The system worked pretty much as it was designed, right? It responded quickly. People got there. The shooter was apprehended instead of killed, which tells you exactly what color he is. And the, But all of that is like one side here. The other thing is the repetitive nature of this, that it's, it's like below the fold on the newspaper. It doesn't crack the, the top headlines anywhere it it wasn't even an alert on my phone and it, because it's so goddamn common and if you're a parent and you're watching this you know unfold every week there's another one of these and you're still out there well i need my guns you're you're a, i mean you're just waiting for this to happen i don't know what else to say i, I guarantee what comes out of this is georgia triples down on the we need more guns. They're going to try to force people to carry guns in schools and, and increase this. And then that's going to lead to another one, and, and they're going to learn nothing. They're going to negative learn from it. I don't know what the opposite of learn is. I, I don't know. If the, the <laughs> they're going to they're gonna stupid about it? I don't know. I mean, you're a teacher. What's the opposite of learn? They're learning something. It's just not the lesson you would like them to learn. They're learning. This is learning if there's a kid with the playground on a throwing rocks, you take the rocks away. You don't give every other kid a rock. Right. Well, in Georgia, you might. In Georgia, apparently you do. All right. It's just a tra- tra- it's tragic story that we just continue to have. But it's uniquely American to this point where it's like, like it's, om- it's ingrained in the fabric. And I, at that point, you're like, all right, this is the clothes we wear. And, like, you almost got to continue to be outraged by it because, to your point, if you're – if you become numb to this, like what, like where are we at? So I don't. This is gonna come up when we talk about security. You got to be careful, yeah. also, how much of this you subject yourself to. Yeah. Yes, but because if you if you start reading, or God forbid, listening to the harrowing stories of the people who right. were directly impacted or or survived this, it will make you go crazy or just despair to the point where you won't leave your bed. So while we have to stay pissed off enough to try to move the needle on on the issue, which I really don't see happening for a long time, we have to also be able to be engaged in that struggle. and, and, And that unfortunately means compartmentalizing quite a lot of this because otherwise you're just not going to be useful to the cause. Father was arrested, right? I saw that on the way, I think, two, uh, two hours ago. He was arrested. So, I mean, eventually, right, prosecuting the, like, you have to prosecute the parents. You have to prosecute the parents. I mean, the, the parents Michigan model is holding, yeah. right, that we prosecuted if, a parent for, for making the gun available. If the FBI can't come talk to you and then this happens and then you just sit like, oh, well. well no, and, it can't be that. And, you know, there are states. I'm not sure what Georgia's rules about this are. I'm, I have a pretty good guess that – don't have any like safe storage requirements, um, which is nuts. And you know, every I mean, every gun owner I know is right. Is is very even the ones who are like militantly yeah, NRA right. kind of guys. Yeah, you're like, do you store your guns in a place where kids can get them? They go, fuck hell no. no. I have a it, no, it, no. They're in a safe. Yeah. Yeah. the most you, expensive safe that costs more than yes. a car. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and you're like. 
does do you keep the ammo next to your gun and then no, you go, no, God no. no, that's a very bad idea. And, but that goes back to where we realize that a majority of the population, they're like, they're, I could imagine being a gun owner, like, damn it, here we go again, because idiots don't want to lock up their guns. So they believe in it too, but the legislation just can't pass. It's just not possible in the way, like, again, it's struck, like, you need, you're going to need, what, a super majority? And even then, so you're not going to get you're it. You're never going to get that. and and But you do have a super majority. I get, yeah, you do. Yes, as in, in the concept of it, yeah. Of, but Of Americans. Of Americans, yeah. But not where, unfortunately, this, where it matters. It's in the 85 to yeah. 90% range. It's past super majority. But they don't vote that way. Here's my thing. I do, a tax credit. You buy the safe, I will, the government will send you money. The federal yes. government will send you. I, how can no one be uh, behind that? I think we can get Vice President Walls to, to Yo, be the spokesman for send this. I mean, you, because I think he could speak to this. He could very much speak, speak to, to that. Because yeah, they're not coming to take your guns. We want you to lock them up. That's what we just want you to start. He, We're just trying to start he's there. He's going to be like, the limit for me, the reason I don't have more guns is because my gun safe won't hold <laughs> anymore. And he's going to be like, but you know what the average American needs? More gun safes. And then... That's it. Just start there. I know, what, like, banning assault, right? I don't think, I don't see that at this point. But can we just start with a safe? And again, we'll give you some money from the federal government. That's a lot. Of, that's, you're asking a lot. I don't I feel like I'm giving a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to pay for it, Ted? Certainly not the billionaires. <laughs> Their kids don't go to these schools. Look at what happened in Tennessee. It took for a rich, white, Christian school to get shot up for them to decide to have a debate about <laughs> guns debate, yeah. that ended in in excommunicating two <laughs> black guys from the the state legislature. They got Good back. God, Tennessee! They Can, came back. Yeah, they came <laughs> back because their voters put them. Tennessee forgot its own constitution for a minute. Right. I, I, it's I, so I crazy. It was just yet another child left behind. Yeah. <laughs> God, if only they had had a better education. <laughs> We their need to go back to teaching civics in their schools. Their teachers were ducking. Social studies teacher plug. What? Yeah, yeah just wasn't that a basic, like, Not NSL anymore. government? Isn't that just, that was a class. It's called government. Yes. Yeah, we all took government class. Yeah, that's not a thing anymore. No, I know. In Virginia, it was never a thing. It was, it was called, we used to have a government class. Oh. And then the goddamn Yankees, <laughs> Yankees took, took it away. away. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow, some of us took that class and still learned better. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a break. Yeah, uh, and when we come back, we're going to find out about what happened in France. Yes. Which, I want to reiterate, I'm just finding out is a real place. Ale, ale, ale. He's, he's, I, this is kind of wild because you're just so disrespectful. Yeah, to, to the French. To the French in, in particular. It's yeah, bad. I've got reasons. Mm. Yeah, they won't give back the Holy Grail for one. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Chip Chat on Beltway Radio and beyond. Sweeps!
Chip Chat here on Beltway Radio and Beyond. I'm your host, Chip. With me is Tez. What's Bobby out? What? What's not? It's not Chip Chat. Oh, well, it is until we call it. Okay. Hi, welcome back to Stacy Chat here on Beltway Radio and Beyond. For our guest, our guest of honor, so we have two guests. Haley, you got busted down. Yes, it's the host. Second guest. It's the host, not the guest. My is taller. Co-host. I know. Co-host. You're, you're the co-host. My now. birthday's in December. Then it could be Haley's All the cool kids are born in December. That's right. The best month. That's right. Us and Jesus. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they tell me. I don't uh, Yes. Yeah. I'm Jewish. Mm, fuck me. I don't care. Um, okay, so uh, Haley and Stacy are, are intrepid reporters. They they are back from France, yes. where we sent them to cover the Olympics, uh, and they have brought back stories. So, and both of you are alums of this show, having co-hosted and been on the show for many times. Haley and I were di- earlier we were discussing which of the weird stories she has come here to tell us <laughs> was the best story. Uh, top five. Uh, yeah, the there's top a, two. There are a lot. We had a lot. The top two for sure were dog related, though. Yes, there's uh, Pug Club. Pug Club is And good somebody episode. tried to sell me my own dog. Yeah. I think oh that my God. Favorite. That was really, that, that was good. really, <laughs> good. That, that one was crazy. <laughs> yes. That, that was, was crazy. Crazy, yeah. actually. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and Stacey has been here as a guest, uh, as a co host, as you've been here Just a lot. Yeah, thank I, you. I, thank you. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, so, so you, you can take off your birthday. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let me look at my you calendar. You should get a five timer jacket too. We we've done uh, very you poor have job. Jackets? We don't yet. We but yeah, I think you. Wait, would, this I have is a your. Line now is this your five to fifth time or maybe no? You've been at more than least five. That. Yeah, we'll have at to go back and check. This is probably my fifth time. I'm no, really it's more sad than that. I don't have a jacket yet. I can check. Nobody uh, has. No one has a jacket. Even even like frequent co-host. Villains like Patrick don't have a jacket yet. We're so gonna work on why the don't why don't we have a jacket? We're gonna work on the jacket. Well, we need somebody with a clothing line to produce us a jacket. There we go. There you go. There it we'll is. plug that later. I want a ceremony. Yes. Wow. Well, okay. we can do that. That's we part can. of the jacket, That's right? right? Yeah. The ceremony's free. We now bestow <laughs> upon <laughs> you. We already have champagne and tiny bottles. Right. Okay. <laughs> Tess, so you should know that I learned tonight that my Olympic trip is being refunded by <laughs> Chip Chat. The no, it is not. That's exactly wow. what you said. Wait, you said you, you were paying for us to go to the Olympics. You literally wow. just said, wow. literally That's true. said I did. on behalf of Chip Chat. You said we went on your behalf. I yes. said, where do I send the bill of expenses? And I said that it I'm would be paid. I'm going to have a permanent day off. <laughs> and it would be <laughs> <laughs> Permanent day off forever. And I they said it would be paid. How? I don't recall those Pepper details. Pepper points. In daddy bucks. Says the lawyer. <laughs> which you could ask Tez about when he gets here. Okay. Which is true. That's See, a crazy. This is what happened when you don't lawyer up and like actually pull your lawyer card and make him sign a contract. You should have. Yeah. You my bank a is a handshake deal. Too bad. My Sorry. bank is a bank of one Stupid person. Stupid handshake deals. They hate them. They hate Yo. Them. Hands, wow. You really are kind of getting screwed over by handshake. Oh deals, but God. that's another show that okay. we will do in a few months. That, yeah, that's a cool one. Nobody advice. needs to know about all the other hand jobs going on, uh, handshakes Long going on. <laughs> that's <laughs> the horses <laughs> on, <laughs> on France, where I hear they do a lot of that stuff. Oh, God. Okay, disparaging remarks off the gate, out the gate. So <laughs> we hear that France is full of French people. What did it smell like? Well, fine. Delicious croissants. Mm. I was gonna say, did it yeah. smell like bread everywhere? Yes. yes. Good answer. <laughs> Moving right ahead. Where's this the sound? This part of it. The heart. Oh. <laughs> Which one is that? Oh, that one. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Do parts of it smell like cheese or chocolate um, or chocolate. any of the other we things? We went on a chocolate tour. We did. We also Do you know that we have chocolate here? Yeah, but their chocolate tasted very good. Oh, and it's okay. from Belgium, and their milk and butter have higher fat content, so everything tastes a little bit better. That, that does sound a lot. Yeah, better. that does sound pretty good. Oh, yeah, Were there oompa loompas? Were there oompa loompas? <laughs> <laughs> we talked to the one chocolatier about Beyonce for a long time. Yeah, have a whose hero. birthday it just was, by the yes. way. Was it yesterday? I, I think, think it yesterday. was. Yeah, there was a picture of that. So, in the photos. do you remember when they did the opening ceremonies and Beyonce introduced Team USA? Yes. So they didn't get to see that part on TV in France. Oh, and it's a blackout. No, yeah. they have, like, French Because it's Beyonce? <laughs> we got, like, the America-specific one. That'd be the second time she's caused a blackout in a major sporting event. <laughs> and uh, the To the Kaepernick jersey, no less. Oh, dear. The 
French <laughs> chocolatier was devastated that they didn't get to watch Beyonce introduce the American athlete. I, I you know, I that she, is that is interesting. I would think they wouldn't care. No, that is in keeping with everything I understand about the French, oh God, which no. is that they desperately wish they were American. Jesus so Christ. on that note, oh we God. found out. The French, we heard it from more than one person, are very in love with a celebrity that we're kind of over. Mr. Tom Cruise. Oh, really? They, they love, love they Tom Cruise? They love Tom Cruise. Everything and gets everything like gets for Top Gun. We or heard like it mentioned mm-hmm. more than times. one time from more than one French person. They were all like, "I'm so excited because I heard he's going to be in the closing ceremonies, and I love him so much." Because in the Mission Impossible stuff, what did they it like has about to be that? I mean, no, it's, well, that was what he did, right? Yeah. He did, I don't know. Did, 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 like, they, I was and stuff. really surprised how many like diehard Tom Cruise fans there were. We were shocked. I noise. liked him in, in the yeah, mm-hmm. noise. Yeah, do the thing, Brian. Thank you. We also didn't have the heart to break it to them that, like, in America, we're maybe... We're a little lukewarm on Tom Cruise. Yeah, we're maybe not... We're in a post-Tom Cruise. Cru- we're post-Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah he kind did, of. Okay, yeah. He was crazy, yeah. and now we're sort of, like, forgived him for being crazy, I guess, and then, you But, know, you know, he yeah. saved the, he saved the movies, though, after COVID, though. Oh, yeah. That one day, Top Gun. That saved like the theaters from like actually going bankrupt. Hey, I, I saw feel like lukewarm is a good time. Lukewarm I saw is a Top good. Gun in the theater, and you I see, don't go see movies in theaters. I did not see it, but you, I I'm love my, love Top Gun. Everybody went to see that. It was yes. really a weird, like a weird type of. I loved Top we're back Gun in the, the first, movies. The first one, you know, like. Yeah. As an airplane nerd and as the right age person, I was absolutely obsessed <laughs> with right this age movie. Person. It's very funny. I, I was I was so into Top Gun. I had all the Nintendo games. Top uh, Gun. I, yes, I the Nintendo like game was really good. thought I could fly an F fourteen if I had it hooked up to a Nintendo controller. I was uh. I was like in right, and then it's like oh he's coming back. He's gonna do Top Gun two. I was so everything you wanted in a Top Gun movie. I, I get it. Look. It was great. It was not a good movie by any stretch, but it was absolutely what I wanted to see. So anyway, the French are like me. Got it. Yeah. Um, Hold on, I have a picture of you in the chocolate. Okay, thing. so while we, we have other pictures that Brian might cycle through when it's relevant, but yes. um, which events did of the games did you get to attend? We um, attended four. Wow. We saw athletics, which is your track and field. We saw, it was like ten different events within athletics that we saw. We pole saw vault, pole vault. Chase. Did you see the French guys uh, dong jump. knock over the bar? No, no we saw women's. Oh. But we have some fun pictures from that where we actually ended up having dinner next to the um, pole vaulter from the Czech Republic. Who okay. was extremely nice. He was very nice. Um, what did she have for dinner? Well, it was a kebab place, so kebabs. Kebab. <laughs> so the pole vaulter had food on a stick. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Yes. I did not think about that until yes. right now. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. We saw, um, we'll get back to the steeplechase because that was amazing. We really Wait, with people or horses? Not so. horses. There's no horses in steeplechase. What? You know what, what else we learned? Did it have horses? The other sport we went to. Water Dressage? Polo. Water, water polo. Water polo. Water polo. No horses. horses. Yeah, because they would drown. We have yeah. shirts that say no horses because we learned that before we went. And my that was shirt, all we knew. My shirt had the horse with like a little scuba. Yeah. Right. My shirt just had no and then like the horse emoji. Yeah. <laughs> there were no, there were pictures of there were no horses at water polo, which was very disappointing. Um, also no horses in steeplechase, but it is no. basically. So you saw athletics, steeplechase. Steeplechase was part, part of, of athletics. athletics. Okay. We saw athletics, water polo, soccer. And beach volleyball. Okay. They call okay. it football there. Yeah, well, that's incorrect. That's the not. The thing we're watching on TV right correct. now I'm just is football. It's called football. It's called, it's called football. It's not. It's called it's football. It's called soccer. That is crazy. You soccer. know that doesn't make. When anytime you, soccer. anytime American says soccer, do you they know, know that that is. Do you know where soccer comes from? Oh, man. Is this that video that was like all around social media where she I explains don't the end of. How soccer actually came from the Brits. And yes, they got all like it a, comes from the Brits, that. from association. ASOC is what they call it. And then at the time, they were putting ER on the end of everything. And and so it came to America by with Brits saying soccer. And we were like, oh, this is called soccer. Let me let you know. A lot of things, have, lot of things have come to America shit. from that island. Yeah. Not good. All well, right? We, so it's okay that to be like, yeah, we, that doesn't make we've sense. We've adopted a lot of them. It's bad. It doesn't it's, make it's, any some sense. Some of them have worked out. You know this doesn't make any sense. We'll call it American football, but football, come on now. Like, let's just, football. Ball played with foot. I, 
Yeah, don't argue. There's no arguments there. We gotta, we'll gotta. let that rest. I'll hold this up to the camera. We do this stupid thing. All right. All right. Okay, Jesus. We, we, can, we can argue that in the pink money later. Let's let's focus. <laughs> I'll let you even have the green money. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you have that. So, of these events, you said athletics. Was, like, we understand what soccer is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was the bronze medal women's match, Germany, Spain. Oh, very good game, Should actually. Should note Sheesh. our friend Haley here, former resident of Spain. So oh. Very oh. clear who so she that's, was straight yeah, for. Yeah, German. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was an amazingly played game just from a watching. Yeah, it was. A, we watched yeah, it. It was, it. It was an exciting game. Did the coach kiss all the players Stop before it. or Why, after the game? God, I knew he was going there. I knew did. that he was going there. So we did notice it was not in the city of Paris, and there was, like, no one there, so our nose very seats empty. were suddenly four rows off the field. Nice, yeah. Dude, I mean, that's, uh, and so that was a question I had, like, from sporting events, like, obviously here in the States to, like, going to, like, the Olympics. Yeah, what was the similarities? Like, what was, like, completely different from that? So, no alcohol. Jesus, that's the crazy part. Yeah. So, everything was sponsored by Coca-Cola, and Haley's going to tell you the environmentally friendly story of these awesome cups that we're drinking out of. But before we get to that, oh. we just have to mention that either this is going to be the Tez Talk if you haven't written one. <laughs> Or we're going to talk about it now. You can choose. You can talk about it now. That's fine. Okay. Look at these dead ass birds. Uh, <laughs> in the district, there is a golf course in Rock Creek Park, which is an old golf course. It's been there it's a long, been a long time. time. Now it's Tez Talk. Have you? Had him. <laughs> yeah. And you've played it, I assume. Yeah. When it was an 18 hole course, and okay. now it's a nine. Is that it? It's okay. nine and a five, yes. Oh, it's interesting well. to break to this right now. Very weird. Okay. <laughs> very weird. Well, golf is an Olympic sport. Transition. Very, very weird that we Golf was an Olympic continue. sport, and golf. the Americans did well at it, I would point out. Yeah, they're very great golfers. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe one day you can be on the team. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Rock Creek course needs to be redone. Yes. And the Park Service got a bunch of money to redo it, probably from the infrastructure week or... Uh, you know, inflation reduction, whatever. Yeah, it's part of the, the department. Of, deal. It's part of the Department of Interior. It right. Was, uh, who so looks they over got, all so the they courses. got some money to make these improvements, much needed improvements. Yeah. And part of this means that they're going to need to move, remove some trees, and plant some different trees in yes. other places. And these people <laughs> who you're seeing on the video are are somehow opposed to the <laughs> removal of the trees. I think what they're opposed to is the improvement of the course. Because they don't want other people coming. I don't know what the, I, but this they're not making their case very well. <laughs> Look, our <laughs> costumes are not even that creative. If I can just judge them for that. <laughs> I don't know. I I really like the cardboard box tree trunk. <laughs> big, yeah. Big fan. Big fan. She killed a lot of trees making that costume. I don't even know. <laughs> full disclaimer. Full disclaimer. I'm probably in one of these National Links Trust videos. Um, so, for full disclaimer. That's so fair. Like, but, so, like, I'm I'm probably the worst person to ask on this. I'm just. I, 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 I know which side of this you're on. You want the golf course to move? Like, you know, golf courses are bad. They use too much They're water. Bad, They're just yes. very bad. But this they, one's not as bad. But and also too, like as I understood it, like they partnered with Casey Trees to do a full study on this as well. And they're going to plant a bunch of native the trees. trees there. I thought, like from what I read through, this seemed very thoughtful. Also based on what they do at Langston, like I watch those kids out there, and again, they're there removing. Like invasive species, invasive things. Weeds, yeah. yeah, like they are doing a lot of work there. So I would assume that would be the same here in Rock Creek. But yeah, I, I'm not. Please go protest if maybe there's something I'm missing there. The lovely person in the bark. But th this is a, this <laughs> right Cap here, Cap Captain Wait, I, Bark. I didn't even see the bird mask earlier. <laughs> this bird is mask. Not, That's another level. This is not helping them at all. Like, look at this guy. I don't want to make fun of this guy, but I do. I'll, I'll take a look. At it. Um, Batman called, and like that is the cheapest knockoff ever. They're killing the trees. Hate this it's like guy. the dollar store version of Batman. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I am amazed. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's not helping their case. I never said that. Okay. I never said that. So now with a healthy dose of the understanding of the um, the American environmental movement, uh -huh. <laughs> which is in great shape, apparently. Look, yeah. there are golf courses in the desert. Yeah. That's crazy. Yes. That's one of our like friends. Scottsdale, 
crazy that there's no one of our golf friends courses. played on a golf course in Jordan that is <laughs> where true. they don't have any grass but to make the sand play like it has grass they do what turf soak it in oil mm. they painted some of it green to be fair yes but it is oil soaked packed sand to make greens to be fair, you I grew the up in the desert. You have. Right. <laughs> I grew up in the desert, and I grew up in the desert. We had timers on our showers, Ooh. so you didn't, and you got a seventy-five dollar fine, which I'm sure is like five hundred dollars now. Jeez. If any of your water touched the sidewalk, but yes, we had like seven golf courses. Hey, Way to go, New Mexico. Yeah. Those birds are painted in oil too. Yeah, that's right. That <laughs> that's why they're shiny and black. Uh, <laughs> Brian's mad. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> now that we have. <laughs> Thoroughly yeah. DJ <laughs> to ourselves for That's a little so while. A crazy transition. <laughs> Tell us about environmentally the environmentally together. friendly cups that we're using. Uh, okay. Good okay. transition. Show the camera. Can I so yes, you, label the camera. You have to understand that the Olympic organizers said that this year they're going to make the Olympics as environmentally friendly as possible. And you probably saw it was like a big news story. Written that in English. They were doing... Um, a lot of just like vegetarian only meals in the Olympic Village, and the athletes were getting really frustrated because they, they trained needed on a bunch protein. of protein. I need protein. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a this was like a big a big thing. So when we got there, um, at the actual uh, stadiums and all the makeshift arenas that they built, they were only selling vegetarian food in the concession stands. So you could only buy like a vegetarian hot dog. Or vegetarian Popcorn. sandwich, so falafel. Yeah, uh, not even. I would have gone for that. Yeah, yeah. falafel is great. Vegetarian yeah. hot dog, vegetarian sandwich, or sweet popcorn. So that's why people were saying bring your own food with you to the games because um, there was nothing particularly appetizing looking <laughs> at um, at the concession stands. So then they had these cups, and they said, "This is what we're going to do. We're going to use." Reusable cups to cut down on waste. Sure. Okay? Right. So they're going to so have somebody like collect them. They're going to wash them all the time. Right. Yeah, well, so it. what they do is they charge you for your soda in the cup. And then if you return the cup, you get two euros back. Okay. So you're incentivized so you're like a deposit. to return. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Like a bottle deposit. And then, but most people were really keeping them as souvenirs sure. because each cup has a different sport on it. So they're $2 uh, like, cups. Yeah. And there's like 16 different cups that you could possibly get, that's right? That's good marketing. Right. Yeah. Ooh, so, that's good. But, uh, you could recycle it, or you could keep it and collect it. Right. So well, but here we are but reusing in, them. So. In, right. right? Yeah, we're reusing them. So in theory, Just though... Just them across an ocean to do in it. In theory, they'll wash them out, and they'll reuse them, right? That's why it literally says to return, return me on yes. the thing, right? Because they're trying to be environmentally friendly. What if it, the French picked this up and they can't read it? Wait, wait, wait. So story gets better. we go <laughs> to get our drinks, <laughs> and I have already decided I'm going to try to collect a cup at each event. Sure. Right? So yeah. I already in my head know that this cup is not being returned. Yeah. So I say, hi, you know, I would like a Coca-Cola. And they say, okay. And they go turn around to the little, like, fridge, beverage fridge, and take out a plastic bottle of Coca-Cola, <laughs> an individual size bottle, not like a, a big bottle, an individual size bottle, open it up, pour it into the cup, <laughs> and hand me the cup. And that happened every, every time. So it wasn't fountain was, Coke. No. So what no, are you doing with all the bottles? Throw them out in the garbage. <laughs> Yo, Coca-Cola is wild for that because that is like, you're selling cups and you got the... That's, oh, and that's, that's the most expensive way for them to sell Coke to the Olympics. Well, yes, yeah. it's that hey, yo. The yeah. story they that's, told is now we can ensure that the bottles are recycled, but I guarantee the recycle rate of those bottles was the same zero. as if they would have just handed zero. us the bottle. Also, as it turns out, it. plastic isn't actually yeah, I mean, recyclable. Thought, These people are crazy. I really thought at the start that yeah. this was just like one, you know, one person and maybe that one concession stand ran out or something. No, it was every place we yeah. went every to. Every single sport, every single concession stand. That is a really crazy play to make as much money as possible on, like, I know they sponsor it, but to sell the cup and then to have the, the uh, actual separate, the bottles there, that's great that not have it on, because they could easily have imported in a fountain, like, yes, yes. yes. That's, like, that is. W so wait, 
We went to the Coca-Cola house. Hey, are thinking different. We're going to talk right. about houses. <laughs> but we went to the Coca-Cola house. They had a fountain. They know yeah. what they are. Yeah, they yes, they know. Yeah. 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 Hey, Thank you. That's really like, oh, my God. When you, yeah. think, when you think these executives can't get any more sinister. Someone <laughs> walked in and said, I got it. Yo, <laughs> we can, we're going to get them on. We're going to sell them it's recyclables. Yeah. And like, go on. But we're going to keep selling the bottles, and they're going <laughs> to pour it. And everybody's looking. It's like, what? Uh, that's, a, that's a brilliant plan, sir, but how? <laughs> we're going to send We're going to print different things, things on, on each cup, yeah. and yeah. that'll make so them do it. So then we wanted all of them. Yeah, naturally. They, under so they, they understand the consumer. Yeah. They understand. Uh, so in a my terrible one, way. For all the Americans at the games, there was no alcohol in any of the stadiums. It was only Coca-Cola. So, as an American sports fan, right, we're used to this idea you can get up from your We're seat. importing, instead of importing alcoholism, we're importing diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. That is so crazy. <laughs> Wait, all we got is Coke and, I hope, water. Dasani, I would assume. Yeah, yeah they right. They Coke, Coke Zero, and Dasani, I think. Okay, was yeah, they, I would say they kept it in the family. So, like we're, we're you know, drink. we're used to oh, this yeah, idea. fake fruit drink. The idea of the, the yeah. beer guy walking up and down the thing. So, were there people walking up and down the thing selling anything? Or? No. The concessions, from an American perspective, it was very hard to kind of get my head around the fact that, like, you guys could be making a fortune off of concessions. Like, yeah, that's why do you not have somebody why selling like money? Yeah. <laughs> but that's why no. the French economy sucks. <laughs> They're not even trying. You could bring your own food. It did say enough for personal consumption, but we were like, we're Americans. The whole pizza <laughs> is personal consumption. Yeah. Um, it's we my each, pie. Yeah. yeah. We each brought our own baguette, like literally whole loaf of bread. Saw the picture of that. <laughs> that is wild. I, I think France would, would I give respect up the, you for that. Would though. I give up the alcohol to have? Yeah, probably. Um, so it was bring your own food. Look, he said no, no, no. no. But no. as soon as you walked literally right outside the gates... There was guys with like you know like we have like the ice cream carts and like the guy with the ice shaving. Yeah, yeah. That was beer carts. So could you go carts. in and out? No. Hell so no. Everyone just kind of stayed out there until right before you the game. You could also bring a water bottle in with you. Oh. They were fill it with the, vodka or tequila. Yeah, the security <laughs> was um <laughs> was it was very quick. Like we moved through the security lines. Insane. Again, thought, talk like, through that because yeah, I would okay. expect the Olympics to be like no. Well, especially so, after oh, all yeah. of the, the stuff that had happened in France not too yeah. long ago. Yeah. Like the only ones they booked in. So I, they blew I have a the feeling house. in Los Angeles this will look very different. But <laughs> we, our first yeah. event we went to. <laughs> I were, thought we were going to be online for well over an hour to yeah. get like, into the We budgeted the an hour. No, we walked right in. Wow. It was, so and they it was had a packed stadium. It wasn't huge. like there weren't people there. It was athletic. So it was literally yeah, the stadium that, where yeah. they have their normal soccer team. But they had like a bajillion security guards so no line was honestly that long and it was like a really quick bag check um like you just open it they like okay, switch around and then hey, they're like go through and then a couple of them had like the guy with the wand and they'd be like stand okay go in um so they didn't check your water bottle no. they did not check water we ain't got time to be checking the water bottles the yeah. olympics man i mean if we would have brought in like I don't know, a five gallon jug. Maybe they would care, but it said like <laughs> <laughs> individual water bottles were fine, um, and it, individual food. But keep in mind, this is a country that doesn't have guns. Yeah. yeah, right. This is a continent that doesn't have guns. They're not used to having to weed that out from people. They go big or go home. Also, yeah. those tickets were really expensive, and I can't imagine buying those just to like cause a ruckus. I don't know. That's Terrorists real. are motivated, though. Yeah. Fair enough. They, they yeah. tried to attack a Taylor Swift concert. You know how much those go for? That's true. Those yeah. were definitely more expensive than Olympic tickets. So one of yeah. the big appeals of this Olympics, as you mentioned, was the environmental stuff. And, you know. Trickery. Yeah, well, you. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you, you met you, you Coca-Cola on this. <laughs> but, like, some of the other things was, you know, they were trying not to build new venues. They were trying to right. reuse things. They were trying to have things. a good place that to do that. Low impact, yeah. you know. They yeah. did. They did. So. Another thing was the, like the, even the track was made of uh, seashells instead of oh, so that. instead of using limestone for right. the concrete that they were, they ground up seashells from the fishing industry which is huge in France and use that for the limestone pretty smart idea all of this is like you know the Olympics are having this crisis where basically it's just going to rotate amongst like five or six cities because nobody wants to host this it doesn't pay off. 
No city makes any money on it, and uh, they're left with these giant venues that they basically can't reuse. I drove under the last World Cup sign that I could find on In 295 yes, yeah. the other day, uh, which I remember very much You know, during the 96 Olympics that they had some of the soccer games yeah. scattered about at the old 94 uh, World Cup sites. And it still had, like, the Olympic thing on it, and then it had, like, DC United plastered over it or something like that. But, like, this is the decaying... I'm a little interested to see how France comes out when they, you know, balance the books at the end of this, because they didn't build a lot. And yeah, so what were these sort of, like, pop-up state or these, like, repurposed venues? What were they really... Some of them looked pretty the impressive. The palace and what's the name? Yeah, where they were so doing the fencing. Like the one that well, that we was... To, that, was that was insane. The one that we went to, most of the, most of the games that we went to were at stadiums that already existed. Right. Okay. But um, beach volleyball, they built that um, it right was like in front of the scaffolding. Eiffel Tower. Yeah, Eiffel Tower. Right, yeah, but then, okay. they're gonna, then they was, take it away. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, literally it was built out of scaffolding that could all come down. Like, it was pipes yeah. and plywood, and then they put some chairs on top of it. And it was a much smaller... Um, Did it you know, feel venue. worth, I mean, sturdy enough to watch a game oh, or yeah, whatever? Yeah. sure. It felt oh, like yeah. a real stadium. Um, but yeah, it w- you had to enter. You basically like entered right behind where you were walking up and sitting. You couldn't enter anywhere else because like it, this was the only part that was built for you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, but it was small and everyone had great seats. But yeah, it was. It you could tell Everything it was else built was out of a tubing thing stadium, though. and they put banners over it to cover it up. Um, the public transportation was amaze balls. Mm-hmm. I don't know how any other city could even come close to that. So on the – first of all, they sold Olympic Metro Passes Perfect. that were Smart. 10 euro a day, as much as you can ride, nice. anywhere you want to go. Every single – Because we just need to shuffle people. Hear that, Wamata? Every gracious, single man. venue <laughs> was accessible. Yeah. yeah. Every, every single venue was accessible by public really transportation. Really easily to see where to get to. They what if you didn't the, like, speak French? Doesn't matter. On the – Thing where like all the stations are listed on the car. It would it's say like we have here. Stadium. It has pictures of all the stadiums, and then when you get off, they have these people, these giant like foam fingers. Like we have like the number one fingers, but they were pink. There were Olympic. And they were literally everywhere. showing you where to walk. I mean, the second you got out, like into the airport, they had Olympic volunteers telling you where to go. Mm-hmm. You couldn't go anywhere in the city without running. Into Do you think we're going to be able to pull that off for LA? No. No, no because it's <laughs> well, because <laughs> LA's, LA's tra- like. I don't know. I. I've never been to L.A., but I don't know how their public transportation... They've built a whole lot of subway in the last 25 years or something like that, no, which is pretty impressive. I, there's no way their outfits are going to be as cool either. The like, outfits were pretty cool. Oh, man, the volunteer outfits were so cool. And everybody... They even had, like, shoes and socks and, like, a bag and a hat, and yeah. they got... I mean, it's it France. So cool. Okay. I mean, they were like designed by Dior. Or yeah, I think they right. Whatever. Everything was Turn on was eBay for eight thousand dollars. Yeah, everything. Yeah. No, they, they did. So they, cool. they, like Louis Vuitton made the the boxes that the yeah. medals came yeah. in or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It was it was it's crazy. So, okay, you went to some of these events and some of them were surprising. To, so the water polo did not involve any horses. No, no horses. It did involve at least one flavor flave. We couldn't find we couldn't him. Find how can you not we find him? We were lying. We were looking so hard. And Everyone have, was looking. You have to understand. So it was. He was in the dugout. He's like one of the coaches, right? We couldn't find him. We Everyone saw the was whole looking. team, and so it was the United States versus the Netherlands for the. It was the bronze medal Women's match. Women's bronze right? medal match. Women's yes. bronze medal match, right? And you see, there are a lot of Americans, but there are a lot of people wearing orange. And the people wearing orange are like, go water polo team. And the people that are dressed in red, white, and blue are like, do you know where Flavor Flav is? Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, even some of the people in orange were like, has even, anyone even the seen Dutch Flavor Flav? People were, Flav? yeah, because they wanted and to we see. we couldn't see him, and you'd think he would have stood out. You would have thought. We, we had could pe- not find him. He couldn't be. We he had wasn't people there. like he sneaking not, down to other sections there. to see if they could find There's him. There's no way he wasn't there. It's a bronze medal game. He yeah, had that's his favorite thing. That's his team. Oh man, it he, was. Are you sure he wasn't in the dugout? Like he, I think he is one of the coaches. We of were that like team. watching really the security people dugout. to see where they, they went. They put them in like their own little bleacher yeah. area. Yeah, they were just sitting out there in bleachers. So yeah. if he was there, we would have seen him. We saw all the coaches. We saw the coaches like lose their mind over some of the calls. Oh stuff. yeah, water polo coaches go oh. like. Yeah. Also, crazy. we learned they have fuzzy bathrooms. Oh yeah, they also yeah. have fuzzy. We did learn that. We did not know that. And before. they have a little uh, the sin bin. 
Yeah. Yes. They get put in the penalty box, yes. but they have to float there in the penalty Which box. Is crazy. <laughs> Honestly, it they don't get to sit. Yeah, they have to stand up. Water polo because cool. they also had a laser light show on the water before the the water polo That's players dope. came out. So they like played this whole little movie. It was cool. And then the start of every game had someone with a stick come out and hit the stick on the ground. That was like a thing. Yeah. Um, that's apparently a very French thing. Yeah. So uh, we got to see the stick, and then they had the mascot come out and do, like, a little dance. Oh, and the lady. Oh, what yeah. Was there was... Um, Shoot, what was her name? We're terrible sports people right now. Yeah. There was a woman... Marie was, Antoinette? No, no, no. Yeah. She was credited for, like, <laughs> women's equality in sports. Billie Jean King? No. No. Oh. no, no. She um, was, like, the first female Olympian. Something like Is she that. French? Yes. I think so. Oh, She's definitely And French. so they had someone oh. dressed up. I feel like her name was Alice. It was Alice. It definitely I don't was Alice. Her last name was. Right, anyway, she was dre- they had someone dressed up as her in like clothing from that period. And then it was like a Where's Waldo situation at every. And oh, you had, yeah, you had to but find her. But it was on purpose. Like the Wait, her name is Alice? And yeah. you have to play Where the Fuck is Alice? Yes. Yeah. It's that song. So Hold they on, would have the track. little like spotlight going all over the the crowd and be like, "Where is she? You gotta find her." And then you know she'd wave and then walk away. They had that every time. Okay, can so we pull up some, do we have pictures? There, we, I can, like, we turn. Zoom in it here. turns out that the the water polo doesn't involve horses, no but you're horses. saying that steeplechase also did not involve horses. It Shockingly, water. And, and no horse horses. jumping. Horse, but like, no jumping yeah. over the water. So water. these are people running around the track jumping over stuff the way horses do in what I think steeplechase is. Yes. yes. But the cool thing is, so and that. And it's not hurdles. So that race no. was amazing. It was so good. Let me see if I can play by play. They put you. water, what, on, they have like they a have like kiddie a pool divot. they got to <laughs> jump over? <laughs> yeah, like a little something? divot in the track. With is water. it on the regular main track? No, they yeah. have to like cut through a little bit. What? Yeah. But they run on the main track for a lot of it, and there's, like, some... Hur- but it's not a real hurdle. It looks like a horse jumping yeah. gate. And like, like, it's the... Instead of a hurdle, it's kind of, you know, individual size for your lane. You know? Yeah, so you yeah. So have, like, three or four hurdles in a row. This is just one really long one that covers the whole lane. And, and it and looks like a horse thing. It's, like, round. Yeah, and do the... I mean... Is it fast, or does it look kind of disjointed and ridiculous? Are there multiple people running at the same time? Everyone runs at the same time. Oh, so it's like motocross. And they're not in lanes. Wait, do they crash? So that is the story of this Olympics. Okay. So apparently Ethiopia is really good at steeplechase. Okay. Like, long-time winners. The two Ethiopian guys are in front for, like, almost the whole race. Incredible, like they've got this in the bag. They're gonna yeah, it's a long distance, so it's yeah. not like it's over in five they, seconds. They run several laps? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they have to do this a few times. Okay. Um, so. And they took turn three a little too hard. Anyway. Went into the, the safer barrier. The first guy, like the favorite guy who's in front the whole time, he trips. Oh, no. He falls. He trips his countryman. Oh, oh as he no. goes down. <laughs> right, because they're drafting on each other. He's tripping. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Favorites, Ethiopian guys, go down. So, American is in last place. Like, apparently, we do not train great steeple jump guys. He's okay. in last place, but he's in the final, so he was, you know, yeah, moderately yeah. good. He sees this and is like, This is his moment. He's right. like, I got it. They're down. It's They're time down. to go. He comes from last place, and it's like one lap to go. Last to first. Wins the bronze. Look, oh my God. Oh, my Crazy. So that it's like like the Leicester City version, except it ends in a bronze. Brian, did we have photo? The photos aren't working. Yeah. So, oh, it's not these photos. So it's the last event of the night, and we're hanging out, and he like comes out to talk to his dad, and we're like, "Hey, dude!" And he's like, "I have no idea what just happened. I'm like super wow, excited." Wow, that's because he didn't he think w- he was gonna win this. He wow. was in last place the whole race until the last lap. How and, many like, people are in this race at the same time? Oh, oh, like twelve, maybe. Yeah, at least eight. You don't ex- you're in last okay, place. Okay, this you don't now sounds like an, an exciting event. I want to watch more it was of this. Great. So these are people running, jumping over obstacles like BMX or motocross so, like or something horses. like that. Yeah. Well, but they wreck. The horses wreck. don't do it with each other. They no. go one yeah, at a they're time. They're all going at the same time. Right, but the the motocross guys are all going at the same time, right? Yeah. They wreck. So now it's like and slower not motocross. Lane, it's just like a pack. Yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, so it was like this incredibly dramatic end to what we thought. the last event of the night. Are we sure this isn't the X Games? It sounds crazy. It's in the summer. people horse racing. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. We're Sal Masakala. So we're like, (laughs) you know, having our American flags. A lot of people left at this point because it's a long race. They run around that track quite a few times. And we're like, nope, we paid for this ticket. Yeah, I'm watching this whole yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Not we're cheering up. on this American guy, even though he's in last place. Like, we're going to do this. And then he, like, sprints right at the end. And it was, like, this incredible Olympic amazing finish. That's, okay, that's crazy. It was cool. It was. And then we got to, like, see him and take a picture with him. And his dad was there. And, like, it was it was kind of cool. And I, I assume... He was very excited to see like fellow Americans still there. Like, oh yeah, he was. Oh yeah, we were like waving the flag finished, and he came over. He's in his own little world, you know. Uh, after, after you win, he the just won an Olympic yeah. medal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he didn't come on, let him be excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he did. He definitely came over and said hi. And he's very nice. We turns out that track and field folks, when they're, I mean, some of those events are like what thirty eight seconds. Yeah, right. Um, so they got a lot of time to kill. Yeah, when they're done, they don't really leave because like this is their olympic experience they just kind of like hang out watch so the other if we left the stands and like in america it would be where you go to get your you know pizza and hot dogs like the mezzanine area yeah, the concourse. Beer. Concourse. yeah and beer <laughs> so they're just like hanging out there so we went to get our bottled coca-cola recycled and it turns out all these athletes are out there so we just like started taking selfies with them and like saying what a good job they did that's dope <laughs> It was really cool. It was really cool. So aside from the, the food in the stadiums being not that great, how was the food in general in oh, Paris? Delicious. Come was on, it man. So I mean, it's Paris. That's what they say, right? Cannot be beat. That's what yeah. they do. So is I, it, is I, there is no bad food in Paris. Could you tell that the rat cooked it? Um, I'm going to leave that to our Disney expert. Yeah, it had that, it had that special ratatouille touch. There's a second one coming out, right? When is that happening? Of course she knows. I know she knows. <laughs> I'm not sure when it's coming out. I think Moana's coming out. Yes, yes Moana that I saw the trailer. We yeah. saw. We are obligated to watch. <laughs> We're gonna watch. Stacey's gonna, gonna to gonna probably have yeah. to watch. My we have to watch Moana nine thousand times. My kids very pro Moana. Okay. So Adding it to the other nine thousand times I've already watched it. Yeah, yeah. Moana one. Oh my god, that was like years. That and Frozen. Yo, those two. Oh my god. I remember like, when my kid first. Found the Moana movie, and my neighbor was like, "Oh, you're in the Moana phase." Yo, and brought yeah, and they a look box at you, of they toys. Look, they look at you like, "Oh, you're there now." <laughs> they got like, out of the van today, <laughs> and swung on the door and did the "I'm Moana." <laughs> like today, my what year did that come the, out? A while ago, a long time my kid ago. Does the, yeah, the hand thing. But yes, um, yeah, it was just like, "Oh, you're in the Moana phase." So. So the food was good. Food was oh, great. amazing. And is it just like everything is good or is it like, I mean, we know the bread. The there, bread's the thing. There's no bad food in exciting. Paris. There's no bad f- it's, Come yeah. on, that's everything what they do. They so cook. people, I, I've been to Paris several times. People ask me, like, where should I go eat? And I say, there Anywhere. is no bad food in Paris. Everything is good. Literally, yeah. Sidewalk Cafe is amazing. So it's like Milwaukee. Got it. Okay. Um, no, no, but yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> were the Parisians nice? Yeah. They were. Yeah. So why does everybody say they're all so mean, especially one, to American my, tourists? So I, a lot of them were out of town. So who uh, was working? So the volunteers were definitely there, but most, like, the offices and, I mean, if people were there and working, they were definitely teleworking. Like, I mean, the people, the like, in the, like, in the cafes and stuff. Yeah, that I mean, you're not, you're not nice. meeting well, I mean, office they workers. They're very kind of nice. used to tourists, I think. But, like, we went on a chocolate tour. Haley's best friend is the chocolatier now. Yeah. But, um, like, you know, we we live in a tourist city, right? We, yeah. We're, we, I mean, some of us are from here. We're used to there being a lot of tourists around and, like, you know. Please keep coming and spending your money. Spend your money. But Please. for the love of God, don't park your buses where I got to try to play oh, softball. Hold on, no, 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 the well, bus will be there temporarily. That's there very ephemeral. Not when I got to try to play cares. cares. I nobody, spend your money. Nobody drove <laughs> in France. Everybody took the train. So well, that problem was handled. But, like, you know. There's the issue. Stand to the right. Uh, <laughs> you are, yo. <laughs> There's also no, uh, they did put in some escalators. So in my past times to Paris, the metro is kind of famous for never having escalators or elevators. I don't know how you get around in this town if you need those things. Um, but there was actually some escalators, and I was amazed. 
Okay, but also, thank you for coming to our city. We, we do appreciate that. Yeah. But also, please learn to stand to the right because you can walk up the left. Anyway, so like... Crazy the outdoor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Isn't that why all the escalators are broken, though? Because they're all weighted to one side? Because of the right. escalators. <laughs> yes, because of the goddamn escalators. At this point, I just sit and I look and I'm like, it's okay. Keep spending right. your money. So, Actually, But anyway, so as, as people who are used to tourists coming to our city, right? And I don't think people call D.C. residents particularly prickly towards tourists or anything like that. But the, France does, Paris in particular, has this reputation. Where does this come from if they were all so kind and, and easygoing with you? I don't know. I think it was very, like, Olympic spirit. Kind oh, of was it? Very much so. so. So if you went back next year, they're going to be like, ah, the stupid one time American. In my and past time to Paris, it has been a different feel. This had a very, like, hold hands, sing kumbaya. Yeah. Good. Kind of, we're coming together as the world. Do you, you think you They're you not can, trying to fuck the money up. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you can win over the Parisians by reminding them that they don't speak German because of us? No. no, no, that doesn't work. No, what they'll tell what, no. what they some letters to what they will tell you is like, wait, no, we allowed Germany to, to flourish after this. Uh, no, that's what they'll tell you. <laughs> that's what they will say. They but allowed it in my past the, times yes. to Paris. They allowed West Germany that we propped up and okay. Remember anyway. my big book? Yes, yes. remember my big book? Yeah. <laughs> Post war, they tied it. themselves together so they wouldn't have another war. It's all another. I thing. think. Bringing up any World War II scenario would not go over well. <laughs> no? But in my t- past times to Paris, and you've also been to Paris before, it definitely was kind of a different vibe. Okay. Where you tried to speak your terrible French um, before you and ever... And they didn't before criticize you, ever you tried for it? To, no, they definitely do, but they'll help you at least. If you start in English, you're going to get a different perspective. This time, they started in English. Uh, like, good. they were we ready knew it. for the They tourists. all speak English. They're lying when they tell you oh, no English. They, they definitely speak English. speak English. They definitely all speak English. Yes. That whole continent speaks English. But they want you to start in French first. But this the time... The lingua franca is English. It was less of a, like, we're expecting no you to... No bell for that? That was funny. No. No bell no, for that. No bell for that. Not even it's a hard... not your show. <laughs> Stacey show. Stacey show. Chad is a hard show. Stacey yeah. show. Let's be illiterate. Um... <laughs> Stacy chat. <laughs> Stacy chat. Stacy chat. Um, but yeah, it was definitely they were the French were very excited to have the Olympics there. They were very. I mean, every cafe was decorated. Every cafe had TVs in it showing the Olympics. Sure. And most oh, yeah. of them never had TVs in it before. Well, yeah. Like that was that, and the escalators Thanks, were like yeah. you guys. The TVs are free now, don't you know that? <laughs> Those children print them out of lead. Well, like you, you didn't go to sit at a cafe and watch TV. <laughs> I remember watching the World Cup there yeah. in Paris when France won, and we had to like find a place with a TV, and that was a search because most places, most cafes didn't have them. Every cafe had a TV. You know what? They had books. They were like, you can come here and read the World Cup <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. That was an amazing party, though, the World Cup. But this, All right. they were happy we were there. So, so uh, Stacy Chat has to take breaks. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. Uh, Will you stick around for the second, third half of the show for a while? Okay, great. I didn't know that was optional. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not optional. I'm still optional. waiting to get paid for our Olympic trip. So We're will, working on it. We're trying to go take a break so we can pay some bills. Come on, sales. You. Get on it, sales. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not sales. Yeah, right? <laughs> the, the person to the right of him. That was where you hit the heart. <laughs> One of you other people should do some work around here besides Brian. I'm looking at you, Stacey. Okay. Oh, uh, so we're so so wow. my hand down. I work around here more than, like, half of the people. Yeah, a lot true. more than I do. She's, she is, <laughs> I just had to do a chick pin. That's true. We did that. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Chip Chat on Beltway Radio and beyond. Sweet. Trump 
hope is our only solution. So let's raise a glass, make a toast to our freedom. Cheers. We come way too far, nothing stands in our way. We get Trump back in office and Joe on his way. We're doing it right, the American way. And if you don't know, Mac is here to stay. What do you do when they come for you? Freedom's what you gotta lose. Red hat stays on. Red hat stays on. What do you do when the gas is high? Inflation's up, up in the sky. So you, uh, MAGA Nation, we can't prove my red hat stays on. My red hat stays on. You know I love God, but in Trump I trust. November 5th, he gon' ride with us. Our red hat stays on. Our red hat stays on. It's the mayor MAGA, but the RNC king. 2024, freedom gon' ring. This the red, white, and blue. I still fight for each one of you. You know the Democrats brainwash, always try to frame us. This red hat made me real famous. I'm gonna sing this song and keep your red hat. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, succubus with goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. I don't want to see him kissing goblins, ingratiating goblins, in bed with a goblin. Dump it. Charging into a goblin's nest and goblin vomit and slopping blood on it. Especially up to his ankles. Trump charging into a goblin's nest of goblin vomit and slop. Goblin vomit and slop. I'm not expecting him to not get dirty slop. Seeing goblins. Appreciating goblins. Sucking us with goblins. In bed with a goblin. Kissing goblins. Appreciating goblins. I just wanna catch him in bed, 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 bed with a cop, in 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 bed with a cop, I just wanna catch him in bed with a cop. That was not forget. Welcome back to Chip Chat, everybody. Chip isn't here yet, but he'll be walking in soon. Chip is yeah. still in shock from that video. I'm really disturbed. What? I'm, I know. I, I, I feel so bad for the guests always because we always play these. I've been taken to, like, a dark place. I think I think this <laughs> might we, have been the second time. You that didn't yeah. tell me it was that kind of show. We did not tell uh, some other people that it was that kind of show. We're either, not laughing they made with that. We're laughing at, at it. that. Oh, my God. I know sometimes we have to explain that. As again, like I always say, I understand that this person thinks that Sandy Hook did not actually happen. And again, this is a disclaimer, Wait. me laughing yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I just looked at the screen. That's what like, I did the first time. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm waiting for you to give me the money for the trip, you would leave. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have, wait, we have Lou Dobbs after the next break. Yeah, so. right. Oh, <laughs> yes. No. No, 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 you don't like that one. <laughs> all right, so uh, <laughs> after you untag me from all of this. <laughs> Too late. Yeah, so we already had to do that on a different show. Yeah, we did have to do that before when we were trying. To, that's a whole other story. Tell that story because I wasn't no, here. Wait, I want to hear. So what the story is. We did a curling show. With there, he's so dumb for playing that. I, I said, curlers. you did what? I said, you did what? And what? I got yeah, blame you. all these, like, <laughs> big-time women curlers to come on this show. And then something. And we were talking about <laughs> where. Do you have that video? Where curling is. is <laughs> we, 
we anyway, were talking they were like, about you play this tape. <laughs> women's issues Yo! and how curling was not you doing a good job MVP. of this. That's and, what and, it was, and right? And that was the debut of that video, yes, yeah. was the MTG M- was Magazine that, MVP. That was, yeah. Yo. We had some splaining to do. And what we... <laughs> What we didn't tell any of these important people was <laughs> that this is us laughing at them. Yeah, that I still hate everything about this. Yes, <laughs> you should. That's the idea. Yeah. Like it is it is like a disgusting, awful thing. Yeah. But it is at this point, look, they're doing it anyway. And it is it is worth mocking just because it's so ridiculous. I mean, they, I they worry about platforming a cyber it. truck. I go along with it. Though. Yes, yes, <laughs> we are worried about platforming it, but I think we're very clear that this is ridiculous. I was just very unprepared for that. Moment. That's what, that Have is, you that not is, seen a cyber Trump truck? No, I That's tried. every <laughs> cyber right. truck. Right. It's not whether it has a decal or not. Every time I see one in the wild, I start laughing like hilariously because you I'm, and you and my husband have that in common. Every time we have a lot in common. Every time uh, we see like my wife too. Like she, every time she's like, "Oh no, I hope it doesn't see mud." Like it's the, they don't work. Have you seen the video? Of it the got lady who's stuck like, in the mud in a puddle. It was it, it's it's AI turned on. And it was like this it could be Lake Erie or it could be a puddle. Just, we don't know, and it gets, won't drive. When you get stuck in the mud, you got to take away the truck. It's just a cyber. It's, it's, it's not no, a truck. No truck. It's, it's not, not a truck. Really even cyber. But it's not did you see real trucks can get through like, the mud? So much room for my kids' stuff, and the guy takes his like regular SUV and is like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and all the raccoons that are chewing their way into uh, them because they think they're dumpsters. Because they look like dumpsters, and they have a lid that looks like a dumpster lid. Yo, the Mag's MVP is really doing that. That is some of the most sinister shit. That guy is amazing. It's really crazy that he's like, oh, I can make a lot of money. Not even a lot of money. I don't think he's making a lot of money. He's making some money. No, but there's there's a decent amount of ad. How many many views does that have? I don't know, but... Well, we just added one. Well, we add add 16 every three weeks. (laughs) It's insane. We're the, we are the we are the algorithm. I'm, what does it feed our? I would be very afraid to see what the next video it would feed after that. Like after we. Just, I don't know, but every time I watch our show, it tells me to watch like Colbert. So far, it, that video has gotten thirty one thousand views. Yeah, so that's oh, nothing. Perfect. Okay, cool. We're not doing. So it. I, feel oh, wait a I feel better. I feel better. Okay, I feel better. so my video with with I Priest. Feel, I feel better. I is feel better. He's outpacing that by miles. I feel better. No one even knows who the fuck that guy is. It's just us. Yes. <laughs> no one knows who the fuck that guy is. It's literally us. Thirty, like thirty-two thousand views are That's us. That's us. <laughs> it's you and me watching this and laughing. Yo. All right, let's do some part of this show. Uh, now we've come to the part of the show called the rundown. This is where I tell you about some stuff that's going on in the news. If we were professionals, it would sound a little something like this. No. Yes. 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 No, that's all we got. It's not your show. The TRS have spoken. Washington, D.C. I do one coming on the season premiere. This is the part okay. of the hour where I tell you some stuff that's going on in the news. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, good luck to your Lions this week. This Man one Campbell. is. <clears throat> yeah. We, there's a whole extra. Oh, you should see the Applebee's soap. commercial. <laughs> oh, it was yes, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Applebee's commercial? Yes. <gasps> and All right, next, continue. I'll find that. You got to watch that. You're going to like that on my own. Okay. Uh, this is the special election edition of the rundown. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a special edition. Not breaking news. Oh, Congress. sorry. <laughs> Mixing sound effects? What are you doing? <laughs> Fuck. Turn on the harp again. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one. This is crazy. Okay, so one of the things that you you might know about these Trump rallies is that the music is a big part of it, right? And mm-hmm. one of the songs that he loves to play is Hold On, I'm Coming, which is the Sam and Dave classic song. Uh, you know, it stacks records. It's great. It's soul rocking. It's such a good song. Blues Brothers did a version of it. A lot of people like it. It's a very good song. Relatable and, title. Yeah, right. <laughs> Although not at a Trump rally. <laughs> Incidentally, the same song J.D. Vance plays when he goes to the furniture store. Uh, you know. But, so, um, uh, in any case. <laughs> Marlowe's. This, <laughs> this song is, he plays this constantly. And the song was written, or at least half written, by Isaac Hayes. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Who is dead, He's but dead. not a Trump fan. He was a Scientologist, which is weird. But yeah. his son, Isaac Hayes III, who is the executor of the estate, was like, hey, stop playing this song. Like, we have the rights to it. We don't want you to use it. Sidebar here. The Republicans have this problem a lot. They they hear a song that they like. They want to play it. It turns out that the things that they stand for are totally <laughs> antithetical to everything that the artist who wrote the song or performs the song stands for, like Bruce Springsteen and Reagan. Funny enough, artsy people tend to... Tend to vote left. Yes. Yeah, you know. So they invariably get these cease and desist orders from whoever owns the song, and they stop playing it and eventually settle on Kid Rock or whatever that fucking guy is called. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I, say, I am kind of surprised they never brought him into any of those rallies. I'm surprised he was in a Nobody rally. knows him. <laughs> well, except for MTG. Nobody wants to watch it. MTG knows him. Yeah, right. She was in the video. He paid MTG. Yeah, it's 100%. It didn't go the other way. Right. <laughs> it didn't happen that way. Where's he getting the money? From your... 30,000 people. He's selling drugs is what he's saying. Oh, okay. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> he's not watching this show. He's not going to, what, is he going to cease and desist me? I'll walk right through it. <laughs> Just like Trump did to this cease and desist order from the Isaac Hayes uh, estate. They're like, don't do that. And he was like, make me. And they're like, well, all right then. So they went to court and they're like, no. Shift. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, so they got to stop playing a song. I don't know if they have or not, though, because I, what I don't understand is, like, if the court rules in your favor that somebody's got to stop using your stuff, if they keep using it, what's the, what's the recourse? If like, only what, we what had a lawyer happen? here to ask. I mean, what, <laughs> Haley, like, what could happen? What could Money. the court order? Money. Money. And what if they just don't pay it? Well, I mean, collecting is always, like, the hardest part of a lawsuit. Yeah. So, so they're just going to be like, no? I mean, they'll keep so It'll, it'll drag on. Yeah, okay. So, but it's a victory nonetheless. Because Trump's really known for, you know, paying his bills. Yeah, or settling in court. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. This is an interesting moment here. That was crazy. I saw that and I was like, oh. So let's give credit where credit's due. The student newspaper at Duke University yeah. broke a story this week, which was that, I can't believe I'm saying this, Person who agrees with Tez on more things than could possibly be imagined, Liz Cheney. Yeah. Endorsed Kamala Harris. 2004 me is looking at me like, what? Now, this probably, yeah. like, to be fair, yeah. th this isn't surprising. I think everybody kind of saw this coming, and they were just waiting for her to do it, right? It, but she had previously talked about, okay, people should just not vote for Trump, or they should write in, or they should do something else. But now she basically came out, and she said explicitly, the situation is, is too dire, Yes. Got to vote for Harris. Yeah. Did you? I mean, we've talked about we've this talked several times lot. on the show, but yeah. you are really at a point where you and Liz are. I mean, you're best friends at this point. It's, I don't, I, it's very hard to explain say. yourself. It's not explain. I mean, I think not only Liz Cheney, but a, a few Republicans look at what the options are and. If their party or whatever needs to, like, I don't replace know, evolve it. or replace their party, like, whatever that is, the only way that happens is if, I hate to say this, but the status quo of what regular democracy is continues on. Yes. And a vote for Donald Trump is not that. Like, and, but I do find, like, that from, for Liz Cheney to say she's going to vote on the Democratic ticket, that says a lot about where the Republican Party is. It really does. That's because she's voted. She voted for Trump in 2020, right? Like she voted with him in like in Congress. In the House, she was number three, three in House yeah. leadership. So I, we're at this weird point where there's a Cheney endorsing the Democrat and there's a Kennedy endorsing the Republican. What the fuck's going on? It is the most bizarre world shit you've seen this side of Superman. I mean, this is it's really, really knocking fut. And we're talking about, it's not just Cheney, right? You've no, got yeah. Cheney, you've got From, you've got uh, Ruben Sa you, <clears throat> A lot of the architects of the Iraq War. Yeah. Who, if you're old enough to remember, 
are literally war criminals and that most people like me want nothing to fucking do with. I'm only 21. Right. Yeah. You're new around here. You're new around here. This is her first episode. Uh, You're new around here. Um, Nope, I protested on Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is... It is crazy to see that we're lining up with 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 these people, but here we are in line with Liz Cheney and Jen Rubin and all of. I mean, what I is mean, going on? I think it's the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Some of them have also run into the hard truth and repented. Also, funny we're talking about the democratic process while wearing crowns. Just want to well, put that out there. We, we, this, this country loves it. Yeah, give me my back for a little while. You've had it for a little while. Exactly. I, I, <laughs> Pointing that out. Yeah, that's no, very, that's very key thing. Crown. Are you I, are you okay with this? Of course I'm okay are with you, this. Are you I found, more than okay? Are you happy yeah. about this? I found I found her memoir to be very. Accurate. You read it faster than you read any, any other, other books. book. Yeah, it was in and out. It was here for one week. Yeah, it was gone. And sh- I I. And again, I just don't agree with her and her idea of what America should look like. But where I do agree with her is I agree with America. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I know. And she agrees with America. Right. And it's like, and I always make this joke, and I'm like, you know, Liz Cheney wants to take my votes by voting about it. Yeah. And I'm cool with that. Yeah. Because I feel like at that point, all right, I can persuade enough individuals, and obviously there's issues around, like, Again, voting rights and like right, they've dismantled that. But I can persuade enough people to buy into my vision. It's hard, but I need votes. I can't have someone who's like, I'm taking the ball and I'm playing a different game. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I'm Liz, just gonna, I'm never going to dribble. I'm Liz, just going to carry it. And put it in. It's just, crazy. It's just like, like push through everybody. And it's like, that's a handball. And like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Stop me. Who's going to stop me? Yeah, it's like water polo, right? <laughs> what if you did have a horse? Turns out they give each other. But nobody wedges. else had horses. Yes, I know that. And noogies. They like they they a big thing about like elbows and like knuckles and stuff. But like they literally wedgie under the water, we learned. Yeah. I feel like that describes a lot of political situations. Yeah. Like there's a wedgie going on under the water that like the ref on top of the water can't see. That's one hundred percent Illinois is, politics right yeah. there. <laughs> Not picking on just back to point of fact. Okay. Yay, Liz Cheney. Last question on uh, this uh, segment here. The debate is supposed to happen in a few days. It's going. Th- you said it's not. It's going to happen. You think she's it's going to happen. She's agreed to this, the she's original agreed, rules. Yeah. He, yeah he, he Vice President Harris is going to be there. Yeah, yeah, Donald Trump, that's his last hurrah. He's not going to go. That's the last hurrah. Yes, he is. It's the only thing he has. All right, well, we can't get any hop slam, but what are we betting on this? If it happens or doesn't happen, because it's going to be between it's going these shows. On. Take this bet. What's you have today? to pay for our five timer jackets. I like it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I pay on these bets. What? <laughs> hey, <laughs> Just I not brought for you a case of beer when yes, I lost my. Yes, that's bet. true. You did. Um, okay, so the debate is supposed to be the tenth. Not supposed to be. It's going to happen. What I have, today? I have direct TV streams. I have to get a new option because the you can't cable watch wars. I can't watch they ABC. Took away, they took away college. For, well, yeah, but it'll be multi-streamed on all the other stuff, too. Oh, yeah. And, watch post and I'm not going to. I never watch the debate. I listen to it all the time. I say that like just I just going to listen to it. on MPR Exactly. I, always, I never, I never watch it. It's two weeks in a row. Shout out Esther Chama Keeley. Yeah. Batman. We love Esther Chama. We found out she was Batman this week or last week. Last week. Last week, yeah. She said it live on the radio. She's I, the best. I, I wouldn't have done that, but you know. She came and did women's curling, and yeah, two thumbs way up. Right, the vote, the, the like, it, it's happening. Okay, in the sense so the of next week we're gonna, gonna know. Be a deb- you're saying that ABC is not gonna broadcast a debate. I'm saying he's not gonna show up. That is political suicide. He's gonna sh- not show up, and he's gonna tell everybody. He that loves TV. Are you a, crazy? He's gonna, he's gonna do a separate TV thing with Hannity no, or whatever. No, he's, he's not. Gonna, no way. There's no way in hell. He shows up. I'm with Tess. What are we talking about? You think, wait, he's not, that's the only thing he, it, imagine what that would, the ripple effect that would be if he did not show up. The okay. first one I was with you, but the second one, think about, I, I'm think over think here. About he's think showing about it. up. First of all, his mic is muted so he can't do all the, you know, weird shit. No, that works for him. That works for him. That works for him to be, I understand, I understand that. 
The second thing is the last debate cost him the election. Okay? He was going to win. I mean, Biden was not an inspiring candidate. And people were going to stay home. And then he is out there. The only thing he's regretful about is that he knocked the uh, Biden out of the race with that debate. Big dummy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a fair statement. It's the only thing he's ever expressed regret about that I can count. There's no way he's not going to go. Yeah, he's going to go. There's no he, way. He, what, why would he not want to go on he TV? He doesn't answer because the questions he doesn't anyway. Want to get, he, does, he doesn't want... He did a town hall this week yes. on Fox. He yeah. did not take a single question from the audience. Right, well, no he spent questions. the entire time of course. Yeah, in his town to hall shouting at Hannity. Of the debate anyway. he, they never even got to where the people got to stand up and ask the questions. There will be no the crowd. There's, There's no audience. Hour There's no audience. It's a non-issue. Thank God we don't do audiences. What no I'm saying, I hope that's dead forever. No, no more audiences. But what I'm saying is... is you like, really still... A, you he doesn't you. have any reason to do this. It's only going to hurt him. He, he had no reason to go to any shit like it. He did it. He can go out there and do nothing. He can skip it and just make up a reason why and tell his people that, and they're all going to believe it. Yeah, but you don't he know. doesn't have enough votes with just his people. It's not gonna, he has to go. He's yes. not going to sway anybody. He knows that. You really think he's not going to go on TV? The thing he loves the most. He's going to go on TV. He's just going to go on OAN or something. No, no he's, he's gonna no be way. There. He's not going to answer he any questions. He's going to say his canned speech and that he wants to say, what, regardless of whatever they're saying, but he's going. Windmills he and doesn't shark like, battery he attacks doesn't, and shit. He doesn't like Kamala Harris. He feels, he feels a certain way he about her. He doesn't want to be in a room with her. And I think that is going to be what shows. Yeah. Because hey, they're going to tell him, if, if I'm... Who is it? Um, who, who, um, who's his... Uh, God, what's the woman's name who's running his campaign? I'm blanking on her name. What, Kellyanne? Not Kellyanne, no. His actual specific like campaign man. I'm blanking on her name on there. But they're going to tell him, to, we need you to go out there. We need you to hammer her as being a crazy progressive who flip-flops. He's going to be like, okay. And then he's not going to do that. And then he's going to go talk <laughs> to somebody he's gonna else. Go out there. Yeah. He's going to be like, windmills give you cancer. And he's let's like, he's gonna, he's gonna like, you know what I don't like about Kamala? And he's going to say, hey, it's going to go down. We already know. And all she has to do is prosecute him. Yeah, I yeah. understand what it's she's got to do and what the right thing here is. And you I really want that he, to happen. You think he's not going to show up? I don't see that any reason for him campaign. to show up. He's tank it what? He's showing he up. He could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and he wouldn't lose a single vote. It's the only time he's ever told the but truth. If I'm, but if I'm on the fence... You think no Forgiato, whatever the fuck, is going to no. stop voting for him with his stupid cyber but truck because he doesn't people. go to the debate? He They're needs, all that. But that's not enough people to win the presidency. To him, that's the only he people he's going to get. That's what he thinks. He has to convince just to show up. He's he got to convince, convince a lot of our people to stay home to is what he's got to do. But, that, but that's not going to happen anymore because now you have a change candidate. That's what candidate, I'm saying. So no matter what. So he just says, I don't care. Let's, we're not going to play the game. He's going to the part. There so is nothing, claim that it was all fake. There is nothing Donald Trump can do right now that increases or decreases the size of his vote. I believe that that is completely big. But by going on it, yeah. to him going to the debate. Also, the right, reason then he could go and just do See, whatever the fuck you're linking tank those two yeah. things. You're linking going to the debate to actual voting. We're saying he's going to the debate because he likes to be on TV. It has nothing to do with people yeah, actually showing up. Yeah, but I believe he can, get on and TV he can bank and what he can always bank as well too. Those he sell fake NFTs or no, whatever. No, he can bank that something happens in the debate and that Kamala Harris stumbles, and that's why he that's goes. His only chance. That's, yeah, his, that's his, own, his only chance. His he's only chance. Want. He's not she can't want stumble if say that he's too afraid to debate her. That, that would be crazy. No way. That's no way. Yeah. especially for a man who's shrimp. You like think, that's what he tries to you exhibit. You think that yeah. he can be shamed into anything? It's yes. not shame. If though. he doesn't go and everybody says, "Hey, you're too chicken shit to debate this woman," you know, and you didn't go to the debate or whatever, and he goes, "No, the reason I didn't go is because I found out that they were gonna, you know, put." Uh, no, he's not electric gonna be on shocks defense. in my shoes or whatever. He he's what? just gonna lie. But here's the thing: there's matter. no other opportunity outside of the debates for him to gain I momentum. Don't think he can understand that. I don't you, think it's linked to votes at all. I think it's all ego. I can yeah. be on 12 networks tonight. The so network matters. That I believe. Tonight. 
The, the, the network still matters. This whole you go on Twitter, yeah, he spaces, still he's gonna get all that shit. No, time the network and yeah. and as well too. No matter what, it, by going on that, it brings eyes on him because this is gonna be the most watched debate that we've probably seen in the last fifty years. I mean, right. the man has made a career out of bad publicity is good publicity. <laughs> yes, he's any publicity for him for him is good publicity. So. I think being on all those Why networks really is not a chance he's gonna get. You on. really think he's not gonna show to this? I really think That's, that there's. I, mean, I think there's a lane there. Why? Because what has he shown that he would do this? Because You're assuming he's, that he's thought out he's a process. A and no, no, no. That's what, I, what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the opposite of that. I'm thinking that he just does any fucking thing on a whim, and because he has total immunity, not just from the Supreme Court, but from his voters. No, no, no. They, 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 that. That, that can be true, and he can show up for the debate. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it is possible. You think, but like, also too, that campaign is still a campaign, and they yeah, are trying to win. Him. They're trying to win an election, and you don't win an election by saying not going to the debate. I think it comes off as scared if he doesn't show up. I don't think whether his campaign is legitimate or not is is an open question. I, I don't think it's, I, it's a legit. I, it's it's still I a don't campaign. Think, I don't think scared of a that woman. I think is. More more detrimental than him looking like a bumble. That would keep his people from coming out to That's vote That's assuming him. that his goal of this is to win. I think the goal of the campaign for him is to grift and take the money. It's to win. Too. And 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 he, he the only reason he wants he to win is to stay winning. out of jail. He thinks he's winning. Yes. yes. Yeah. He thinks he's winning because that's his ticket out of jail. Yes. I guess we'll see. Tune in next week when you find the. I can't believe that, you're, end to that this. you still think he's not going to play. It's playing. really crazy that you've dug in on, like, he's not going to show up. I'm There's also really a glad we sat, according to um, <laughs> yeah. opinion on this. It made it very easy. Like, <laughs> do you want to take a break or do the test talk? Uh, we did his test talk. I know, doing? exactly. We did the test talk. No, already. but we had, I mean. There's a t- what, who, who, what did was you my, have a separate one? I did have a, <laughs> I did have a separate one, actually, okay. on there. Um, do I have it up? I think I have it. Why don't we do that, and then we'll take a break before we do world news, because there's the world news segment is going to be pretty interesting. Let's do it. Is it about France? No. Yeah. We already mm. did France. <laughs> Too much France. Uh, so, all right, do you want to do a break, and then do test talk? Or do you no, let's, do no talk? let's go straight. All right. I love you, Brian. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> look at these dead-ass birds. Oh, look at that. Two right. test right. talks. We already did. We're not hitting no buttons no more. No, um, I saw this in Time the other day, uh, maybe it's two days ago. And was Trump on the cover? No, it's <laughs> it's the the headline was your cynicism isn't helping anybody. Mm. Um, and like for me, I saw this. I was like, my phone is obviously that listening is, to me. Obviously, this is right on the money. But for I'm you. usually more of the nuanced person on you this show. You are the nuanced I'm person. I'm more of like the one. But and you're the optimist, and I'm like the internal optimist here. But I had also been feeling a lot of cynicism. As of late, and in the article they mentioned, they were like, "It's not." Huh, if you fix your, Here, you can have the crown for this. Thank one. you. It's your your yeah, test. You, you should probably be wearing I, the I, crown. I, I, yeah, the my crown. bad. Yeah, you know, you you think you're a benevolent dictator, but you're just a dictator. I'm just giving it to you. No, Come on, no, no, God no, no, save no. the king. You were really nice to add the tater. Uh, Thank hi. you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Right into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walk right into that one. But they mentioned in the article they were talking about like we all kind of go through these like battles of cynicism, and like cynicism is like a spectrum because usually we just point it on one person. It's like oh, it's this misanthrope who hates life and hates everybody or whatever. Um, I'm that. Yeah, yeah and I mean, this might be yeah. I might be talking to you. This might be intervention. Um, and it, like a couple of like the the bullet points here was like. Um, the myth cynicism is clever, which I think, you know, you... I don't think that it's clever, and I think that people who use cynicism in uh, in place as a way to make themselves appear more intellectual are ridiculous and glib idiots. Uh, it's not me. Don't put that on me. I'm just sad and depressed. That's some different. Peop- some people think, and they mention here, that cynicism is safe. Mm-mm. Yeah, it totally is. I guess it is definitely safe, right? And no, when I read this, not. I was like, it can make you feel better. But I was like, mm, everybody doesn't give a fuck. So. No, I understand. Yes, I understand why. Pe- okay, well, I get that. Then you're never disappointed. If everything's right, right, going to go right. wrong, then you're never disappointed. Yeah. Sorry, I talked to my therapist about that a lot. No, no, no <laughs> that's, that's, that's. That's. Yeah, right there. there's whole countries that are that. Yes. And I think it was this paragraph here that really, like, kind of hit me. Because I was like, all right, well, you're saying, like, 
it can't be cynics, but there has to be something for me to be like, all right, well, I know everybody's not out here to do it. <laughs> like, it's right. <laughs> as your, as your <laughs> pantomime is like, everybody's not here to be helpful and nice, right? Um, but they said, but we don't have to keep falling for cynicism's allure. Uh, we can see it for what it is, a psychological trap, and adopt a new way of thinking. Rejecting cynicism doesn't mean being gullible or naive. A powerful alternative is skepticism. Yes. Right? And they mentioned, like, a scientific me- a mindset uh, where focus, where we focus on evidence to decide who we can believe in. If cynicism is the lack of faith in people, skepticism is the lack uh, of faith in our assumptions. It allows us neither to blindly trust or blindly mistrust others and to learn about our social world in a more agile way. And I thought it was a very interesting article. Like, for me, at, at, and the, when I read it, I was like, oh, I have felt really cyn- cynical at work home around a variety of different things and i was like no i should reframe that to be a more skeptic yes and i it, you know what okay this is here we're gonna go down sports is my way to, to yeah, right. sort this, into this, this. Is your therapy okay well it's not <laughs> just that but but also like sports is a way to, to, to explain a lot of this okay we here are sports fans yes many of us at this table uh are devoted fans of teams that are often terrible right Okay, yes. You got the Chicago <laughs> Bears over here. We got the Washington Wizards. football team, the Wizards. The Wizards. Nats have been pretty mm. pretty much every Chicago bad for a while. The Orioles have been god awful for twenty years They're until good, though, fairly man. recently. Good. Yes. Good, until dude. right. But and the Angeles years have I got no hope. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I had to live through Brady Hoke and Rich Rod and you know, okay. So like during all of that time, there was an opportunity for me, as an Everton fan, to say <laughs> nothing matters and fucking Premier League is broken and it's all garbage. But I don't say that. Right. What I say is the league is out to get us <laughs> because they are. But also, like, we are bad and th- this <laughs> is a bad situation and we shouldn't be doing it. But, like, I don't, I don't stop watching. I don't give up on it. And I don't say that this is a fix. I just say that it it's it's you know, I call it like I see it. You know, it's miserable, but I call it like I see it. You don't look at that and go like, oh, the NFL's against the Bears. You go, oh, the Bears are against the Bears, obviously. They they hate themselves and they keep sabotaging any opportunity they have to win. That changes. Well, I have history. very specific people I like to blame, but yeah, they're well, all sports related people. Right, and so you know that changes this year with Caleb. Yeah, we ca- yes, so I think so. We we, we gotta you know, get Miss Biles a new jacket, though. We uh, yeah, that was a big deal. Mm-hmm. We uh, feel that way about Danny. You know, he held the 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 franchise back for all that time. I mean, it's but he's so gone. Much, but he's gone. But nowhere in that did I just go, oh, the NFL is fixed. I just went, oh, Danny's the problem. So skeptic, yes. Cynic, yes. no. And I think that that applies to everything, not just about sports. Yeah, exactly. It's not even giving up. But I do think, like, if we think about our politics, a lot of people are cynics toward. I, I think. I think a lot of people on the right are cynics. I, no, because but it serves. No, the, I think no, no, no. Because remember, I think we spoke about this after, like I said, I felt Obama's speech at the DNC was directed at you. Uh, but he made a dick joke, and that was amazing. It was, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. It was really, it was great. Obama made a penis joke, and that should be just acknowledged. Actually, then since then, everybody we did we did a whole segment it's, on that. Yeah, and I love that everybody picked up on that. And like some people were like, "Wait, he didn't?" I was like, "Most oh, of you're the women in this attention. country apparently didn't pick up on that." Uh, no, they just didn't admit that they picked up on it. Every woman understood that joke. Okay, in any case, <laughs> speaking on behalf of all women. Yes, everywhere. that's right. <laughs> Thank you. you. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No. Uh, yeah. We love you, Brian. <laughs> no, I, I mean, but again, sometimes I feel like you're a cynic to a pop the uh, to a population that we need. Okay, I hear what you're saying. Yes. Okay, you, you should be I'm skeptical cynic- of them, though. I'm not skeptical. You say I'm cynical of the people on the right. Or, or yeah, whenever I say cultists, because I think that there's just no hope for there's them. There's no hope for them. We, we just can't crazy. save them. Put them on a barge, sink it in the North Atlantic. That's my solution. I mean, I hate I, when he says that. Okay. 
He's in trouble. That's a little cynical. <laughs> right? It's like, why are we trying to it's sink a fellow American? No, we're not. We're not. We're not. No, no, no. No. But, but he okay. says this often. And I'm always like, I'm now like, I get what you're getting at. I okay. know. I talk to him. <laughs> One of the things that, that we talk about a lot is my concern that when this is over, when the fever dream breaks, how do we reintegrate millions of people who are out here saying things like the election was stolen, government class, or th- yeah, or or like <laughs> any inject bleach or God knows what? I mean, these these people are creating; they have created an, an entirely alternate reality where stuff just that isn't happening is totally happening to them. When this is over, which I'm assuming it is, which is not cynical, that's optimistic. Thank you. Finally, we're being like, again, Democrats, we need to be on the offense. Be like, you know, we're about to go fucking win the election. Yes, but that's what the fuck we're about to go do. But I don't think that's when this is over. I I think that that there's there's going to be longer. It's not over after the election. But that I believe that there is a time when this is over and reality reality sets back in. Okay. (laughs) What do we do with this group of people? And it isn't five or ten or twenty or a few thousand, it's but millions. it is millions of people who have created an alternate reality. And how do we reintegrate them into actual reality? They've been tricked. I don't know, but they're they coming c- to my house for Thanksgiving, and I'm but a they worried. have to be willing <laughs> to. Dude, that's the thing. There are family members. There are there are fellow Americans. But they have yeah. to be willing to. To we our our job is when they say nothing about it and just act like it never happened let it go that's what we have to do but if they don't do that right yeah, yeah. what are we to do with several million americans who are still ranting on about their turn of the frogs gay you got to I, I do think in this is where it's difficult you got to continuously ask them questions you almost have to get them to the. You almost have to like lead them to their own answer. But when you corner them there, rhetorically, uh, they, they don't. And that's that's so that's what you're calling me a when cynic. We say they're never going to get about there because I don't think they're ever getting there. That's the cynic. They're, I think they're not getting there. I have. Ah, whole, now you're the cynic. No, this is not even cynical. This is a whole. I have a whole branch of my family, some of whom have decided they're coming to my house for Thanksgiving, first time in a city they want to go to the Smithsonian course well first time in any city yeah um outside of their the town that has 285 fine. people in it but do you want me to come over and cook yes please okay um please wear like a yarmulke yeah I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll 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 do it up we'll get yeah out. um Tess should come too. That'll yeah, be Tess really should great. Definitely come too. <laughs> the last time the blacks and the Jews got together, you know, we uh, uh, we call it Georgia. We call it Georgia, and then, and then we call it <laughs> January sixth. Yeah. Right many after that, non rural Missourians that could come to my house for Thanksgiving, you are all welcome. Uh, but the s- way they find strength is in the conviction of their beliefs, in that it doesn't change. So in changing. This is the, you know, if I believe in something, that is it. That's how I'm going. There is no honor in I've learned something new, so I believe something. Oh, that's weird. It is, this is what I believe, and holding to my convictions is more is powerful the than learning the things. Honor. Yeah, got it. So it's a different mindset. So I don't think you do, because holding to my convictions is where. That is someone who is strong. That is someone who has honor. Whereas, you know, this is a very urban mindset we're saying right now, a very, I would say, enlightened or diverse mindset of when I learn something new, my convictions may change. Sure. Um, I'm willing to be presented with other information. I like to stay informed instead of if my beliefs change, then I'm weak. So... And a lot of that comes from religion. You believe wholeheartedly, and you don't question. And if yeah. your belief wavers, then you are weak. I don't think I've ever considered the idea that people uh, call call it strength when they refuse to learn things. Yeah. Which I that, that's it's I don't think that's ever occurred to me. Different mindset. Because even in in I mean obviously we're everybody here is 
teasing me, making fun of me for all this stuff when I say things like, oh, they're goddamn French and they don't speak German because of us. And it's, you know, it's a very, like, boomer mindset, World right. War II. That isn't actually what I think. Obviously not. Yeah, and it's, it's right. like it's a, a big bitch. joke. But, like, it hasn't occurred to me that that everybody doesn't process it that way. Everyone does not process it that way. And that is, and I just had this conversation with a relative. Um who got sent a postcard in the mail. You know, the handwritten postcards sure. that are like, vote as if your life depends on it, vote as if your daughter's life depends on it. And she said, I don't know who to send this back to to say that I'm not voting for, uh, that I'm going to vote for Trump. I want to write it and send it back to them. And you're like, it, you could just do nothing. Yeah, well, you just so she was it. like, where did this postcard come from? Um, but, yeah, so if you're belief in religion or way of life or gender roles or whatever wavers. That's weakness. That's weakness. You're not sticking to the plan. Mm. Sticking to the plan is what makes you a strong man, a strong woman, a strong Christian, a strong whatever. Um, you don't question it. You don't waver. Because if you waver, the, I mean, this is the exact argument Trump wants to make against Kamala, right? Like, she's she's wavering. She's not. She has learned new things and made a different decision. That's weakness. To the people he wants to appeal to, that right. is weakness. That does appear as weakness. Because I, you don't question your faith, you don't question your family, you don't question your heritage, you don't question whatever. Like, that's not what you do. That's not how you show strength. That's pretty tough to get my head around. Well, do you? you I, 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 I'm always again. I'm the optimist because I've sat at like and yeah, again. I've seen people learn. I've seen. I, I've I, watched people flip and like and maybe they don't learn. Maybe, but it I, takes I, time. I'm not saying I personally believe that. I'm saying I have a lot of family that comes from that mindset, and from my conversations, this is what I've gleaned. I know mindset. lots of people, which I can talk to you about offline, who have. <laughs> I've got a few. You're not that bad. That. A few yeah, times yeah, I've been out with folks yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and they're like, you know what? You're not that bad. Yeah. And I'm like, cool, all right, that's fine. Like, you're one of the good ones. And like for me, it's I like that's that one it. a lot of times. Yeah, you're and, one of the good ones. And it's for me, it's like, it. and it's you're it's it's like, all right, well, what do I do with that? Do I do I uh, there's one you way I can I react answer? to that. I when people say, Oh, you're one of the yeah, it turns out a lot of Jewish people might say, you know, like yeah, and it's like yeah, and it's like how do I continue sarcastic but not so evil? Yeah, how do I continue to try to engage these these individuals? Because like I feel like there's like when they go checking if you've got more. Yeah, it's breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is how you can engage or try to engage. You pull their, you pull away their red carpet party. So apparently the. It was supposed to be a January 6th awards gala oh, over the weekend. Yeah. And and it was supposed to be at Trump's golf course. Unfortunately, oh, it, is this the one where they lost their liquor license? And the uh, Confederate flag goes to... Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like yeah, that. Yeah, it was going to be like that. So, it was literally going to be yeah, like that. Yeah, so officially has been postponed <laughs> indefinitely. So until God knows when. And it was supposed to be hosted by Trump. And Rudy was supposed to be oh, probably an MC. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Rudy was coming. Yeah. I saw that. That's no, that was the thing. They were literally going to be like, here's your trophy for being a patriot. And then he was going to go to court the next day and be like, I didn't have anything to do with it. They're like, you just gave trophies a lot to of, people. Uh, yeah, a lot of them are still, I mean, the Justice Department's still batting a 1,000 on those cases. Also, uh, Trump's uh, New Jersey establishments all lost their liquor license. New Jersey, care to comment? Do you know Why? <laughs> Because it's illegal to have a liquor license if you're a convicted felon in the <gasps> state of New Jersey. Oh, uh, uh, finally he is a New convicted, Jersey pulls out some sort of way. <laughs> you can marry your cousin and take Trump's liquor license away. Way Wait. to go, New Jersey. Besides, obviously, the Tam Brothers. Who are Lots of good things come from New Jersey, New my Jersey family included. Yeah. I get along with people from New Jersey. They're my them people from Boston, Philly, and Chicago. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. It's always weird. Well, you got it's Chicago and New Jersey here. Well, so. no, it's just, just <laughs> Chicago, New Jersey, Philly, and Boston. Everybody else does not like those individuals, but me, I love them. To be fair, I did also live in Boston. Well, see, I don't. I love people. I, me and folks from Boston get along really my, good. That's, my people that's come Boston. from New Jersey, and I try not to remember that. Salty ass people. 
Exactly. I'm like, oh, the it's The roads just, don't make sense. They have it's to be cold. very adaptable. <laughs> it's, it's cold. cold. It's cold. They're, they're, they're frosty people. Yeah. I like frosty people. They're frosty people. Northern people. <laughs> you can see from one Duncan to the next. There you go. It's a rule in New England. All right. Do uh, you want to talk about uh, world news or do you want to take a break? I'll probably take a break so I can go okay. to the bathroom. Why don't we take a break? <laughs> and I play, never use the bathroom on the show. You never do. I never we're gonna, do. It's we're very gonna weird. Take a break like, and we're going to play one of the hits. Because um, we got them these Olympic cups. Exactly. They fill up, fill up very right. fast. You know what? So All right, I. Brian. You're the, you're the DJ. Uh Play something great for oh our, no, our I know amazing guest. I know he's playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to use the bathroom yet. I'm going to use my bathroom on myself when I laugh at this. No. <laughs> we'll be right back. You're listening to Chip Chat on Beltway Radio and beyond. Sweeps. The caravan of mostly Central American immigrants is now in the Mexican city of Huarfalda. She's a bleach blonde, bad built, butch body. She's a bleach blonde, bad built, butch body. She's a bleach blonde, bad built, butch body. And she better not talk about nobody. Marjorie Taylor Green is built like a shake machine. She's about to catch a case Talk about a black woman's lash She'll definitely whoop your ass She better get her face right Cause she looks like a pack of butt Be 
Breaking news. Oh, breaking news. Oh, well, hold on. First of all, welcome back to Chip Chat here on Beltway Radio and Beyond. Is I'm your uh, host. I'm sorry, Stacy Chat Thank here you. on Beltway Radio and Beyond. I am your third You're here. co-host. I'm here. I'm You're here. here. I'm That's Chip. All. You're here. I'm and here, too. I'm Tess. Here. Cheers. And our actual uh, host, Stacy, is here. Happy to be here. And uh, her co-host, Haley. You can't wait. You can't wave to the audio. You can't, 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 can't hear the waves. <laughs> Usually you can hear waves. There's a camera. Yeah, but no, the people but are listening. There's more. It's listening. Really audio. It's well, a radio show. I'll just say oh, that I did, wa- I did wave. Yes. I did wave. You That's did. fine. Okay. You did wave. So people may be wondering why the show is Stacy Chat and yes. why we're wearing the tiara. Sadly, she no one would see if you're not. <laughs> Sadly, no, no one was actually yeah, yeah. wearing We just that. told them, though. Yeah. Everyone we just, just told them. Everyone just assumed it was a natural progression, actually. Uh, that's possible. <laughs> However, um, it is it is for no reason. We're just doing this for fun. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's Stacy's birthday. Woo! Happy birthday. <laughs> Yeah, she yeah, turned yeah. 21 today. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Oh, 21 this for is the 20th time. You can, drink, first, uh, you can drink now. First like drink right now. Of champagne right as now. of tonight. You know? yes, I if was you going to toast you with this, but this is the <laughs> cup holding my cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are not looking at the video, we have been drinking these tiny little bottles of champagne to celebrate France yeah, and birthday. As, as requested. Okay, so happy birthday. And uh, Was it a good day? You know, uh, my five-year-old gave me the best present in that he Mm, didn't bother me for an entire hour, and I took a nap. One hour is golden. I said, I at five, one hour is golden. So many daddy bucks. I don't even want to know what he watched on YouTube during that hour, but he didn't say mom, mom, mom for a whole hour, and I took a glorious nap this afternoon. As long as it wasn't Lou Dobbs. What the no, the new thing is watching other people play video games. That they so, all right, so I that's not and put on that's not unique to five year olds. No, it's I all remember, the kids. I it's remember so when I though. no, I remember seeing like people two or three y- years younger than me do yeah. this, and I was like, oh god, this is crazy. Like, wait, wait. all the Z's. Do Whenever this. I used to watch someone play Madden when it wasn't my turn, furious. Yeah, yeah right. Never, like, why never, did I do that for fun? Never excited to watch. I'm like, oh, that's a great movie. And he doesn't want to actually play. Like, we got. No, I'm mad about The original the, yeah. Nintendo. I, why'd you do that? Emulator thing. I, and we're like, play original Mario instead of just watch somebody else play Mario. And my like, kids nah, played I'm it good. at your house and he watched them that's play true. it. We have a new video game thing we got coming. Well, it's good. We'll, we'll do it. All okay. Right, we'll do I, do, I do have a breaking news. Now. What's okay. the breaking right. news? Well, Bra- breaking news. He's eating birthday cup. What the fuck was that? There you go. <laughs> He's like, yeah, give me more warning for that shit. Um, breaking news is straight out of the Washington Post as of 10.05. Earth just sweltered through the hottest summer in recorded Ooh, history. Christ. The world's average temperature this summer just edged out the record set last summer, according oh. to Europe's top climate agency. Europe out here, well, I get it. This is not breaking sure. news. Yeah. I uh, the this new, summer. Yeah, it was bad. That's what I'm saying. It was really bad. Guess what? Next new, year, this is going to happen again? The new findings coupled with data from the first half of the year indicate that 2024 will be the hottest year known to science. Yeah. Yeah, I went yeah. to Alaska. There was, like, no glacier anymore. No, and... I I was a person doing this in twenty. I was in in two thousand seven. I was screaming at people. I was like, "Hey, it's gonna get hotter and hotter." Well, we'll and they said, statue, "Shut up." We'll build a statue for you. In That's the, what I was trying to tell them. In the refugee camp. And yeah, then, please. In the know, refugee camp. Wait, I'll yeah. Do you want a jacket? Because apparently we're putting it in order. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew. Mean, yeah. <laughs> Climate change. I was right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, you are right. Told you I, think, okay. I actually think they sell that at the NASA gift shop. Exactly. You can just go buy it. <laughs> at the NOAA gift shop, not NASA. Well, they also work out of Goddard. Oh, uh, that's true. Mm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now we've come to a part of the show that's called World News. Did you know there's things outside of the United States? Yeah, there's a we lot found of shit. Based France. on the France story yeah. I just there's heard. France. This one's called The Russians Know About Tennessee. It turns out um, the Russians have been paying influencers and YouTubers and whatever else 
to create fake content, but they're in Tennessee. That's crazy. Why would they pay them when they could get volunteers? Who shocked? Yeah, no well, one? no, oh, it's Bueller? not the question oh, of shocked. Wow. Oh, you just stepped on. You didn't even get There's my a joke. 32. No, we got it. <laughs> just we see if we can get volunteers. Yes, we got it. Okay, yes, just so. check. Just check. Yeah. Oh, Alex Jones is already volunteering. They don't have to pay him. But Tucker, oh, all those guys. Tennessee volunteers? Come on. We got it. We got it. it. It's <laughs> good old Rocky Top. Okay. <laughs> also, what Tennessee did to Chattanooga last week was a hate crime. I, yeah, I, yeah. I feel like 69 to nothing is, is enough. It's enough. Stop. In curling, we do handshakes and move on. Yeah, uh, Ole Miss won seventy nine to nothing against Furman, mm. which is which is not that's not nice because those are all still nineteen year olds and they don't deserve to get beat that badly. There's no handshake rule in other sports. Mm. It's just the one on us. There's definitely a hand something in football. Rebel spirit. Um, that's a different rule. <laughs> in any case, <laughs> here's what happened: the thirty two page federal indictment accuses. Oh, good luck. Coast <laughs> and Team. How did you know? Kalish <laughs> Nikoff. <laughs> just Boris say and Natasha. It's just say it with Panache. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Make Boris, it up. Boris and Natasha and Fearless Leader, employees of uh, RT, Russian Today, Russia Today. Russia Today. Of, uh, they spent $10 million to, like, Get these influencers to publish a bunch of bullshit propaganda from the Russian ten million dollars. Right, the next story is going to be about stereotyping cultures. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the thou. Look, first of all, <laughs> calling I, you out, man. <laughs> yeah, we did. I think I think it's with this brief interlude, like between when the wall came down and like Putin. Putin. Yeah, it's that. Where we had to pretend that we to were gonna, yeah, where we had to pretend that we were like gonna welcome Russia into the community of nations. We did. We had we to tried. pretend. It wasn't a we pretend. Tried. It was. It was done. It's fine to go back to characterizing the lot of them as a bunch of commie thugs. I mean, that's commie it. Commie thugs. Yeah, sure. Why not? They buy into communism. You think that's no? What they're doing but over they're there? All, they never did. It was no. all. It's yeah. So whatever. So if you want to call him Boris Buzinski or whatever, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Street Fighter's gonna have <laughs> gonna go back to uh, Zangief being yeah, the Zangief, very yeah. Being <laughs> the villain. I have so many questions. It's a lot of sorry. <laughs> Bring it, Russia. We're a better okay. country with the Cold War. We yeah. didn't fight ourselves. Well, right. <laughs> it's not gonna be the Cold War anymore, based on your last story. That's fair. All right, yes, Kalashnikov and blah 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 blah. Sorry. Russian citizens <laughs> <laughs> remain at large. I hate you, yo. <laughs> We're okay. charged with conspiracy to violate. Uh, for so agents cool. registration <laughs> act. Okay. They're not here in the country. It doesn't matter. They listen. But they've been charged. We yeah, literally it's true. just did a whole segment about how other countries were nice. <laughs> yeah, other countries, not Russia. They're spying on us. Not America. They're like sending agents and stuff. Why in the world do people think we're not with nice? With unpronounceable oh, names. <laughs> Look, Russia. The French are so they're, they're, they're terrible people. <laughs> they use make up random names of these people. If the Russians wanted us to like them better, they could start by making pronounceable names. Wow. I think they can pronounce this, them I think in this Russian. is xenophobia. I hate everything about this. <laughs> Listen, when my family came here from Russia, we changed our name like good God-fearing Americans to something that other Americans could pronounce. God, please stop. No, that's not true. It was well, changed by some... This is going out. down a really bad road, oh, and God. we are not in the car with you. <laughs> While I, driving I, down the road. I am. Federal Lord, authorities... I, I've been in this car for a Federal authorities years. said Russian operatives and other U.S. adversaries have accelerated their attempts to interfere in elections. Pos okay. Which side are they on, though? <laughs> what? Is there a side? This is a circle. <laughs> no. <laughs> they a have a side. And it and it ain't Harris. The Russians are trying to influence the thing. People are gonna fall for it again. Maybe a few people. No, that doesn't happen again, Harris. You don't think they're gonna no. fall for it? Mm -mm. They're already falling for it. They spent ten million dollars, and, the, and these people all bought it. 
you have understand. no faith in the. In, you have no faith in the. The Russians thing. have figured out an important thing. You don't have to convince people about things that are untrue. You just have to convince them that nothing is true. And so I don't think a majority of Americans think nothing is true. Well, it doesn't have to be a majority. We're talking about forty-four thousand votes was the last election. Yeah, but I'm not thinking about Tennessee. Sorry. Think about they weren't Michigan. just in Tennessee. I don't know if you know this, but Instagram works in other states. What? What? Yes. <laughs> so these influencers that they're paying who happen to be in Tennessee were, were running this thing all over the country. Right. But we, we, we give so much credit to social media in the sense of doing that. And that works when it's picking off ones but and twos that at works, the margin. But the matters. reason it works in 2016 is because there was not enough people who went out to vote. That's not going to happen this year. Uh, Taylor hope. Swift has spoken up and Simone Biles, and they have way more of a social media influence than that, any like, random Russian person. I get that. I get where skepticism comes from. Uh, <laughs> I, I get what, but if only you had defined that only <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> but I, I, I get it. But it's like again, this is this only works if no one shows up to the We're polls. We're in a world where we've got Taylor Swift. Beyonce and Simone Biles on our side, and we're still worried we're going to lose the election. I get it. 2016 was rough, but right. the reason, but but we lost that election because people like we don't confidence. Not to be what? No, because people like we don't like Hillary Clinton, which is crazy. Because of is misogyny. Crazy. Because yeah. my crazy cousin in Michigan said, "Oh, well, I don't know. I just don't like her for some reason." And for I'm like, some I reason. Know the reason. I know the reason. It's a yeah. chromosome. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. I, I get I'm why, I, and I, but I also get, I understand where you're like, wait, we're going to battle, you, you think misogyny and She's racism. A, right. Those She's a to, black yes, Indian I get woman. It. I don't know. From like, California, from San Francisco, from I, Oakland, I should say. From a coastal From place. Oakland, and she's a lawyer, a Howard lawyer at that. We, we elected Barack Hussein Obama. That's true. That's crazy, Okay. After, after the Iraq War, we elected Hussein. <laughs> like, it, 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 again, there's nothing ever going to be crazier than that. To me, Kamala Harris just makes sense. If you, if you, again, I, mean, and I know you. To be fair, Barack Obama will go down in history as one of the greatest orators of our time. Like yes. that man can give a speech like no other, and Kamala does not have that. that but she's gotten a lot better. She Her certainly has are gotten not a lot made better. Into songs. Like, That's fair, but she's so much better. Yeah, they are. You think you just fell out of a coconut? Tree? Brad Summer. Whatever. Brad Summer. Like, <laughs> <the coconut laughs> tree, that, yeah, exactly. That exactly. is a huge thing. I right mean, now. but like thinking about the power that Obama had to really rally young people and just. And that was a shitty economy. And that was a terrible economy. Uh, this one is not that. This is a good economy. I seen gas. It's coming down. It hasn't been as high as it's been. Like. I think I, I just think we should be able to be like, hey, you know what? We should win. It's better ideas. We're selling joy. I think people buy into that. I'm I think all, that's what's gonna look, win it. I'm is all people about, selling like joy and happiness. You know what? She makes you feel better. This other guy makes me feel like I'm angry. People will this vote is, for people who make them feel better. This is no, they don't though. They just vote. think. I think they, they will. Obama. Well, I think in they the will. worst time ever, we didn't feel good. We're talking. Bear we're, Stearns. Okay, look, we're talking about this crazy situation where the economy is good, and people say the economy is bad. That has changed on the last numbers. Yes, if, yes, somewhat, yeah, yes. somewhat, it's somewhat. First, first time don't ever. Care, bleach was seven dollars today, and that used to be ninety nine cents. Okay, well, I'm just true. saying. That's I, one because everybody started ingesting it. That, I mean, <laughs> if we're all injecting it into ourselves, then that's yeah. A you ran it up, supply and demand. It's simple. Uh, you know, Look, COVID's back. All I'm saying is that the situation is a bit topsy turvy, and so the things that we used to hold true, like a strong economy, you know, favors the incumbent or their disciple or whatever, <laughs> whatever is bullshit want. because. People are creating an alternate reality. And even the alternate reality that the right-wing Fox News media is creating is seeping into the real reality it's on the rest of the... Uh, it's not the, enough of them. It's because the, it, it's we're not, talking, this is at the margins. See. Georgia goes by less than 12,000 votes. Michigan goes by less than 20,000 votes. Pennsylvania goes by less than 22,000 votes. This is at the margins. And these $10 million that the Russians spent, which they don't think that they're not going to stop spending, 
These things make a difference. We're moving increments. These are tiny, tiny increments. Ten million dollars compared to compared to what the campaigns are getting in. Harris raised half a billion dollars in a single month, but even if she can, even if she can spend it that fast, the question is, where does it go? To TV, where people are at. They're not online. Taylor spends that like in a night. (laughs) Look, y'all are overconfident. You should get a little bit of this cynicism, (laughs) skepticism, whatever it is you want to call it. But like. Like Vice President Harris says, we are the underdogs. We need to fight like we're the underdogs. We need to pretend that these things don't matter. Yeah, but that steeplechase guy thought he didn't have a chance, and then he yeah, did but he get didn't, a medal. he didn't roll over and say, well, there's no opportunity. He kept fighting. He found that opportunity and got a medal, and he, he was a super he nice guy. He didn't take it. was a foregone conclusion, though. He kept fighting. We have to think as if this is a losing fight. It is like playing the Patriots. Nobody's saying... It's like playing against the Tom Brady Patriots. You could be up 38 points. But we're the Patriots, and they're the Falcons. No, you're not. That's the crazy. (laughs) That's the thing. They're the Falcons. Donald Trump is the Falcons. You need to always assume. Yeah, you need to always assume that you're... I'm tired. I'm tired of moving like that. That, I'm tired of moving like that from 2020, from the red wave that was going to happen. I'm tired of moving like that. I'm moving like we are going to win, because you know what people like? What I've realized, even with Donald Trump, people like people who think they're winners. You can brat some of your way through this, Instead and I'm going bra- to work at Did you at not it. listen to his test talk? Like- I, I heard it. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not ready to, to stop fighting as if I'm in trouble. We need to fight like we're in trouble. That's no one's hot. saying stop fighting. But fight and sell and persuade people to be like, hey, Come over here. It's better over here. Did You'll you smile more. Oh, absolutely. Didn't you watch Ted Lasso? You gotta believe. I didn't, but... Oh. Um, but hope is making a comeback. I hope he changes it's the stuff. hope that kills you. All right. Yeah, um, <clears throat> speaking of hoping and pining for things, pineapples. Belong on pizza or no? Yes or no? No. Yeah, me too. I'm with no. you. No, 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 no pineapples All right, on cool. pizza. I like okay. you, you civilized people around All right. this part. Pineapples, <laughs> they're delicious, right? Pineapples are good. Yeah, again, delicious. You know, as a standalone yeah. or in a cake, pizza. upside down. Pizza. There's lots of application of pineapple in a drink, for in example. A yeah, okay. Turns out pineapples, key to dating. What? No, that's like the swinger thing, right? Yes, <laughs> but not exactly. Okay, in Spain, uh, the expert Haley. Haley hasn't spoken since we played the Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> we lost her on the Alex Jones, and I get it. It's a hard pill to swallow. It is very, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's a, I, like, uh, I you know were like. In Spain. I don't know how to pronounce anything. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Mercadona. But have you heard of this place? Have you heard of what place? Mercadona. <laughs> Stay home time. Watch for now. Mercadona. <laughs> Mercadona in English. I don't know how to say it in in, in gringo. Mercadona. Uh-huh. It's apparently a big Spanish market <laughs> chain. I don't know. In totally Spain. out. Totally out on this whole thing. It's so great. You read it, Mr. Cuban. We're still doing it. Mercadona. There you go. I don't. Oh, I understand. Oh, (laughs) there's apparently uh, this thing where if you ride around there between seven and eight p.m. in the wine aisle with a pineapple upside down, you get a date. No, the upside down pineapple is like a swinger thing, right? I heard that in many stand up comedy routines. Uh, Is that just translated to Spain? Maybe. Apparently. Oh my God, there were swingers in my neighborhood. There's a. They moved out, but COVID time was rough. All right, that's a story for another day, though. Nah. So there's a TikTok. <laughs> there's a, a big TikTok craze about this, apparently. Uh, there's a song, Time to Hook Up in uh, Mercadona. Let me let me do it right in... in uh, Mer- Mercadona. <laughs> Nebraska, Mercadona. Haley's never going to get go. her six-time jacket. Yo, she's never, never coming, coming back, back on this fucking show ever again. So out after the Alex Jones videos. Uh, seven, <laughs> seven, I get it, I get seven it. Trust PMT. me. A TikTok account. Uh, 
look at how my printer works. Oh God, not well. Not yo, the toner is. Ugh. Yeah, I. It's a counterfeit cartridge. That's why. <coughs> <coughs> okay, you read it then. I can't. This is this is bad. Go ahead, go uh, please. Pineapple I'm on the I'm shelf of a uh, <laughs> uh, Mercadona <laughs> waiting for you to get a date. That that's where this this apparently comes from. So like teenagers are running around in these supermarkets with their pineapples in their carts trying to score. What what's going on here? Pineapples are the only food that eats you back. Oh. Mm-hmm. I think it's adapted from like the swinger thing. That did come up in the article. And they were like, it's not that. But I did once when I was out at a bar just have a pineapple. And, like, wherever I would walk, I would just sit down and sit the pineapple. Put the pineapple there? Put the How pineapple down. It was just kind of more, it was more like a, like a bit almost. Like I was like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, pineapple? no one really got it. And I was like, I just had the pineapple. And, like, friends, they, they were wearing it on their head. And for, I think it was. Because it's, like, something exotic or, like. It's Spain. I don't think a pineapple's that exotic. I don't think they kinda. grow naturally in Spain. No, but it's not no. like they don't have access to them. There's a song, apparently. Well, there you go. In the wine you know section, you know my heart races looking music? for someone yeah. special. And it's it something, pineapple, something TikTok. Pineapple. It doesn't, yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Way Good to luck go. to all those people with their pineapples. Yeah. Haley, we have That's to we think. have to figure out how we engage you back on this show. Here, we have to ask we, we, we have to ask we have to ask some questions. Tell All us right. about the Samsung store. All right. Tell <laughs> us about the Samsung store. <laughs> Samsung store is a great experience. I don't know uh, why Stacy would <laughs> <laughs> wow. I completely disagree. Is that another episode? <laughs> uh no, it's a good look up story. Okay. So we So Samsung is an Olympic sponsor, just like Coca Cola is an Olympic sponsor. And um, <laughs> the Olympics, it's all about pins and pin trading. Very, sure. Very curling. Very curling. Yeah. Snoop, yeah. Snoop told me that. Yeah. yeah. And well, very Disney. So curling, Disney. Oh, and yeah. Haley's oh, it's, it's the maximum Haley. Haley's Did they throw any dogs at you? Thing. Yeah, it's a big crossover. Right. And, and Paris loves dogs. We do love dogs. Yeah. Um, and so you could go to some of the stores for um, the sponsors and get pins. So if you go to the Coca-Cola store, you get a Coca-Cola pin. You go to the Samsung store, you get a Samsung pin, right? Except Samsung decided they were going to do it up really big, and they were going to do this, like, interactive thing in their store. You could get multiple pins. Oh, sure. So Like the cups. Yeah, yes. exactly. Not at but all like the cups, as it turns out. But it's, oh. it's free. You don't have to buy anything. Oh, okay, okay. And so I'm all about the pins. So we happen to walk past the Samsung store, and we're standing in line to get in because they're only letting so many people in at a time, right? And waiting outside (laughs) took a very long time. It took much longer than actually entering any of the Olympic stadiums. Wow. Naturally. It's so true. (laughs) And so we get in, and they say, you have to go on our website, and you have to create, like, a little account. Of course. Download the app. No, we didn't have to download an app. We just yeah. had no. We didn't. The cloud we just, I just deleted it. Yeah, you could do it on the internet browser, and so, and then once you were logged in, you would go to different stations around the store. There were like six stations, and you know they're all trying to sell you their phone, right? Sure. So it's like use their like Microsoft Paint app on the phone and. You know, like at this station, and over Draw here, a picture it's like of yourself doing this. Yeah, and, it's yeah. like take a picture with their fancy camera right. at this station. Talking in the, your language, and it'll translate to a different yeah. language. That was yeah. that is I know, I trust you. <laughs> and so every time you completed it, there was an employee there who had a little QR code. You scan the QR code with your phone on their little website, and it pops up like a little virtual pin. And once you have six virtual pins, then you show the head person. And they had kind of like a gumball machine, and they would give you three pins at random for free, okay? And so, in theory, this is a great idea, except there was no internet service in the store, <laughs> and their website kept crashing. Oh. And so, you can imagine our frustration. And so, what should have taken like 15 minutes took a very long time, a very long time. And then, in Stacy's mind, it took hours. 
Rams. It did not. It probably Stacey did not was, in reality, but Stacy was, was a bit dramatic. I know this is going to shock you all. <laughs> Stacy was a little bit dramatic. And so when we were waiting to get into the building, I saw people coming out with these, like, cardboard, like, pin boards with, with pins. a bunch of pins. Yeah, not they had scored a ton like, of pins. Not just three. And they hadn't right? just, like, thrown a bunch of money at the Correct. people. So, and I see them giving these pin boards to people in the store. So I asked the woman, how do you get the pin board, right? Sure. And she said, well, you have two options. You go around the store and do everything a second time and get. You need a total of six pins. Once you have six pins, you get the board, right? Okay. We give you three pins at a time. So you could repeat everything and get three more pins, or they have some kind of like Pokemon Go experience where you go travel all over the city and take a picture, take of a each picture, thing, and then yeah. you come back. Sure. But that sounded like that was going to. That's take, a lot more work. That's a lot of work. You know that you is. Got to pin them all. Just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or you belt could belt. just do the little six activities that we're already in the building for that we already we already have figured out. The you game. already know how to do it. We already fast. know how to yep. do it fast. Yep. It's mm-hmm. not gonna take that long. And I actually assumed, and I was wrong, but I I had kind of thought that when you got the board, maybe you would get like an extra pit. Like yeah, right. You I got the, the board set kind of thing, right? Um, and then someone, I'm not gonna name any names. Rhymes with schmazy. Someone, <laughs> um, and it's her birthday. Decided today. that this was too much for her to handle. We're gonna hear my version of this story in a minute. <laughs> this is the only version of the story. <laughs> you know, this there is the is correct the version. version of the story. Yo, and, okay. Um, I and thought so the truth was one of the versions. Someone but, you know. just disappeared. Ryan better catch the box, the <laughs> box gas and make sure it's still going. Someone said, "I'm out." <laughs> Walked out of the store. And someone else got a breakdancing pin. So I feel like overall, I won. I was so going to ask you all about that. It's Did never coming back. So <laughs> that pin. That pin it, that's going to be the one. Breakdancing? I also have a breakdancing pin. But the but short version of mine five is. Five other pins in addition to the breakdancing pin. And <laughs> you can't say that because so you. Every single time left. you had to like scan the thing. The internet in the store didn't work. And she's like, well, you have to, like, step outside <laughs> to, like, <laughs> leave the store. load it. If there's, Yo. One, if there's one thing I learned after this experience is I will never buy a Samsung <laughs> product. So, see, it was it's not as so seamless as she's making it sound. So, I like that. So, like, you do <laughs> the activity. <laughs> you do the, act, like, little activity on their phone. And then they're like, okay, scan it. And so I scan it. And then it's, like, loading, loading bar, loading bar, loading bar. Oh, maybe you should go step by the exit. Walk downstairs. By the way, hurt my ankle. Walking on her ankle. Walk downstairs. Walk by the door. Loading. Loading. Okay, it kind of worked. Oh, but the virtual pin's not showing up. Loading. Loading. So this went on, and I have zero patience for her, like loading bars. Sound like zero bars. And I mean, <laughs> this is a tech company, and we're all, and you had to get on and their Wi-Fi. Like, yeah, right. And it's on their own controlled no, network. Yeah. They apparently were in a lead box because you couldn't get any. Non Wi Fi signal. You had to get on their Wi Fi, which apparently. But once you figured it, was it out, and like, once you. I love that he's. I love that he's in. Right. Brian. Brian is and obviously watching Brian the Ravens not to and the song. in the Kansas City uh, Chiefs, but yes. he's also like twenty minutes in the future. Oh. So if you're watching now, Lamar Jackson moving in the paint throws a touchdown because I already knew that. <laughs> but, uh, reaction, you by knew Brian's it. reaction, and yes. there it is. Yeah. And they're going to go into overtime. Going into overtime. So, anyway, that became the joke of the week. Football. Of Football. anytime something went even remotely frustratingly slow. It was slow a Samsung. Of, well, we could go back to the Samsung store. So, yes, Haley goes, let's do it again, guys. And I went, no. <laughs> and I went to a cafe and got a glass of wine. I got my pins. I got my pins. No regrets, man. No regrets. I also do not regret my glass of wine and chocolate I got when I left the store. <laughs> You know who has some regrets? Uh, Nicholas Maduro. Wow. You know why? Wow. Apparently, he had two airplanes that we seized. Oh wow. Yeah. So the uh, current dictator, let's just call him that, of uh, Venezuela, you know, who lost the most recent oh, uh, election. There he is. Yeah. Uh, he's like, no, he had no. the dictator chic on too. I didn't lose. Uh, I definitely won. And we're oh, all in like, the Dion's. No, you definitely Sorry. didn't. Uh, oh. Win. Oh, he's out of bounds. 
Brian. Sorry, yeah, it's Brian, over with. Brian. Sorry, Brian. With with a with with the ninety six primes on over there too. Uh, yeah, he's out of bounds, and that's over with. And that's game over. And the Kansas City Chiefs go. Patrick Mahomes is one and zero. Oh. <laughs> one step closer to being on that flag football team. Tess is, is rooting for the Irish quarterback over the black quarterback, which sounds about right. Oh, um, yeah. All right, I so like Kermit the Frog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out that uh, Maduro had two airplanes. He had one airplane that the U.S. government seized yep. because, you know, he's a despot and uh, not following any laws at this point. He lost the election. He lost the election two to one, and he's like, no, I didn't lose the election, and uh, I'm just going to – you know, be president or whatever. Trump was like, yeah, love this guy. Definitely into that. Sounds and then, like my type of guy. Yeah, and, and so we're like, all right, well, seizing what one of his planes, he's, he sees his plane, the, the, the plane. plane. Like, all right, what does that mean? It yeah, turns out he has a whole two. other plane. The plane too. And it was in the DR, and and he's, you know, it's not clear what he's doing with these planes, but he's, he's flying around. Idea. The plane seized by the U.S. authorities on Monday has been described by by U.S. officials as Venezuela Venezuela's equivalent of Air Force One, um, and then they grabbed another plane that was Air like Force Two. Air Force Two is essentially his backup plane. Venezuela if, if One, Venezuela one Two got seized. Uh, that's pretty great. Um, this one here is called State News. You ready? State News. This show is still going. Yeah, it comes from uh, Texas, which is still currently a state. Uh, Ken Paxton. Oh, he's back. Yeah, that guy. He's back. He survived an impeachment and, uh, you know, several federal charges and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, He filed a lawsuit Wednesday against one of the state's largest uh, companies to stop. Jesus, my printer sucks. Uh, (laughs) To to stop them from using taxpayer dollars to mail thousands of voter registration applications to its unregistered residents. So Bexar County, which is where San Antonio is, right. they're like, hey, would you like to register to vote? And, uh, you know, he was like, no, no, they, they shouldn't do that. They're, they literally just mailed registration normal things. paperwork to the people. You know voter suppression is the way some people win. Yeah, so if your ideas suck. Yeah. Choke out the voters. I mean, if that's a send tried back a f- and true method. If they in the send American back a fraudulent democracy. application and they're not eligible time. to vote, they won't get registered to vote. But that doesn't matter. If to only Ken many, many people have tried that in the past in the American history. Mm. I don't know. What do you know about that, Chicago? Uh, my degree in American history. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Watch for that. Walked right into that one, didn't yeah. you? Uh, this one is called "They Really Should Have Learned Something in College." Seven Republican states led uh, seven Republican led states sued on Tuesday to block the newest version of loan forgiveness. For and now let's talk about loans. loan forgiveness. Joe Biden has forgiven a lot of loans. A lot of loans. Yes, yeah, that has happened. And to be clear, we only talk about like with the blocks of these, but he's forgiven a decent amount. A lot of the loans that are forgiven, like, aren't like the yet. principal has. Long it's since gone. been paid yeah. off. So it's not like people are borrowing money and not paying it off. They've paid it off and more than. It's almost not even forgive. It's almost like not forgiving. We're like forgiving the, the extra shit. Yeah, it's like. On the stuff that they've already paid off. Yeah. You borrowed 100000 you pay back 150 and you still owe 2000 Oh, no, you still owe another 150000 So my So paying off my student loans, I was so close. Close to the end. Paid him off. Thought I was done, right? Last payment. And then I get another bill. And so my mother, hi, Mom, who went to MIT, like very smart engineer woman. I hear if your uncle goes to MIT, it makes you president. But if your mom goes there, I don't know. Whether, it's not well, how actually, work. both of my parents went there. But <laughs> so she calls Sally Mae and she goes, I went to MIT. I cannot calculate what interest rate would cause this to happen. And the lady, and she goes, can you tell me? And the lady was like, there isn't one. We just made it up. Cancel that. <laughs> that sounds so it was just an interest payment after I had paid it off, because I paid it off on, yeah. like, the 15th. 
And so on the 16th, it had like one cent left or right. something. So, yes. It's a common problem. Totally agree. It is a messed up system with all this interest. It's a, it's a huge problem, and that is very common, actually. Is that yes. these things where it's like a couple of cents left. Yeah. And the, the system calculates this incredible thing. Three cents went to like $400 in a week and a half or something really ridiculous like that. Why anybody is opposed to this is the thing that's confusing to me. It's not, you know, the the technicalities of the program or the the political maneuvering of creating this or, or beating it in court. Those things are all, like, pretty standard and understandable. Why anybody's opposing this is the thing that doesn't make sense to me. Because it doesn't harm them. It helps they don't the have economy. Standing. It helps the economy. Big time. Well, and the people have already got the education. It's not like they're going to be like, all right, you didn't pay your loans. We're going to yeah, switch off. off that section of your brain that you learned all that stuff in. Like, they're already working in the industry that they're working in and helping the economy. Why are you trying to sabotage this? I, I don't understand that. You like crabs? No, I'm allergic. What? Oh. I know, crazy. That Sucks in this area. rough. Sucks in this area. Okay, for the rest of us, you like crabs? No. No. What? I'm New Jersey. Hey, <laughs> that's close. You've moved here. You like crabs? All like right, Brian. I, this one's All right, here you go. I don't. I don't like when I have to like dissect them. You don't like picking crabs. Look at that. You want to work for in the like food. a really you nice crab cake that. sandwich. That's that's good. <laughs> I look at crab cakes. And I'm like, oh, that looks very delicious. Yeah. It is. But like fighting for my food, no. Like past that. You know no, what I, mean? I don't want to like take apart fighting. my food. You're not breaking apart. All right, Brian. Ribs. This you one's for them. you and me. I don't even like chicken on the bone. I like okay, the so for <laughs> regular people who enjoy the delicious blue crabs of the Chesapeake Bay, we have a conundrum. Since 2008, winter dredging of the bay has been banned. Good. Because good. Because good. It kills all the crabs. Good. Yes, <laughs> and it reduced their numbers substantially. Yeah. And uh, since the ban went into place, right, the numbers have rebounded and the, the crab harvest has improved. For the watermen, they, they're making more money, you know, per crab. All of that is true. Uh, and the bay, as you know, is basically run by two states. One is the Commonwealth. One is Maryland. Maryland is the like, free yes, state. the free state. Maryland <laughs> is like, yeah, we should have crabbing with crab pots in the summer when, you know, regular crab season is. Barbecues. And for most of the time, Virginia has been like, yeah, we'll do that too. But under Governor Yunkin, oh God. Virginia oh. was like, hey, can we make a little bit of money while we uh, harvest crabs in the winter? And everybody was like, well, you could, but only for like a couple of years. And then after that, nobody will get any money because really there'll be no cool. more crabs. They'll be out of office by then. And they were like... Exactly. We'll be out of office by then. Let's out of crabs, too? Yeah. So they're like, we're going to open up winter dredging again. Not good. This is so states' good. rights all over again. Oh, good Lord. So That's the Maryland so folks dumb. are all mad. All the Maryland watermen are really mad because they're like, metro. this is going to really hurt their uh, whole livelihood. And for people like me who just want to eat crabs, this is really bullshit. Stop doing this. Stop messing up the crabs, man. Like, we understand they're expensive, like, at certain times, but, like, we want them to be there. Don't Imagine when they're not there. Yo, I'm going to riot. Like, that's, that I'm is not laugh. a good time. I'll laugh. We're like, mm, silly crab eaters. I'm a crab eater. Yeah, I'm sorry. Silly. They're you, delicious. They are, but you let you let, you let let your state. I didn't let them. I didn't state. vote for that guy. It's your state. Okay. It's your state. Sorry. Don't do that shit. Please don't do that shit. We love the crabs. They're, they're so gonna delicious. Dis they're going to disappear. Have you ever eaten a crab? Don't dredge them in the winter. Why are you doing that? Why? Let them, let them make more crabs. What's a crab sound effect? It's not the heart. It's, it's not the heart. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. All right. Thank you. Go find one. I'll eat Mitch McConnell. I got crabs on the cob. <laughs> That's there what you go. All right, well, uh, that's the end of the show. Oh, thank God. Woo. Merciful. 
Yeah, yeah we fine. made it. Sh- we it. Short, short show tonight. Just barely. Wait, can I plug my show now? Please, please. <laughs> if you'd have plugged it 20 <laughs> minutes right, ago, so we our, ended our, I'd be happy. Our guests uh, have things that they want to talk about. Stacey, you have an upcoming performance. I don't know if Haley has anything to talk about anymore. Haley's never coming back again. She's, yeah, she's, she's never just, coming she's back again. She's just here to get her check and leave. I feel really bad. I'm like, we've done this again. She's just going to pick up her check and leave. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's so disappointed. In if this. you live in the area, um, check out the music and drama department of Goddard Space Flight Center. We're doing Mary Poppins, and tickets are on sale now. And you can watch me tap dance. Where can they get tickets? They're online at the music and drama department. Mad M A D. That's Goddard. good. Yeah. So um, Mothers against drug driving. I know, right? It's only, totally only one D though. Whew. Yeah, just one D. Music That's and right. drama. Um, and that's the first two weeks in November, um, and we're going to put a link up to my new shop where I'm selling curling gear and NASA stuff. And did we decide on the name? Uh, I believe uh, Chip was going to name my new Etsy shop, but I'm willing to take suggestions. So if you have an idea, have an send idea. it to us, and we will uh, run it by. Yeah. Um, yes. Stacy chat and see what she says. Yeah. Um, but check it out. We'll put a link up. I just put it up yesterday, so there's a reason that there's no, like, reviews or anything yet, because it's brand new. No worries. But, yeah, come see Mary Poppins, buy some clothes, and I'll be back, I'm sure, this season to talk about curling drama as it unfolds. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Day off. <laughs> or on Tessa's <laughs> birthday, because apparently I'm I the only <laughs> one who comes in here on my birthday. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Haley, do you have anything you would like to Haley, can we can we just say... <laughs> Fuck Alex Jones together in unison. And I feel like that might be a good reset for everything that has happened here. If we all are like three, two, one, fuck Alex Jones. So I ask if we can all say that. Okay, we're ready. Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Yeah. So, so we go like three, two, one. Fuck Alex Jones. Like a slumber rumble. <laughs> no, I don't have anything else to talk about right now. So okay. See you. Soon that means join us when Haley's back next time for next another time next in a couple next weeks couple we'll light years. <laughs> I think we need to revisit the Pug Club story. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. This yeah. is a really good, good story. Okay, all right. Uh, well, that that's it. We've come to the end of the show. Uh, thanks to Stacy and Haley for making the arduous journey all the way to Paris, France, and watching all of those sports for us. We are very grateful. We appreciate that. There you go. There's what we were listening for. It's hard that. for us, you know. If we play more of that, then we, we <laughs> might come back. Yeah, I don't know. Sports is hard for us Thank to watch, so we appreciate you to, and to do that. To dress code. No, I didn't do We that. did our best. Uh, my best. Thanks to our radio partners, uh, the school in Ruby Renee, uh, local mm-hmm. public access, and, uh, great, of great. course, InfoWars. Yes, uh, <laughs> thanks to NOTN for keeping us on for another week. Uh, I just read what it says. We don't know. Um, <laughs> thanks to our home on the interwebs, coplaymedia.com, and thanks, as always, to our family here at Beltway Radio for making us sound as smooth <laughs> <laughs> as goal ball. <laughs> All right, uh, where can everybody get you on the socials? Uh, if you go ahead, Tez, you can tell everybody. <laughs> it's optional for the both of you. At Curl Me Purple. There you go. Nope. I hate. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I hate everybody. Um, That's a bad nope. tag name. That's a bad tag name. Um, you can find. <laughs> you can f- oh my god, this is a very funny show. You can find me on Instagram at Ketchum Cordy. You can find me on the Hellscape that is Twitter. Yes. Or X, whatever the fuck you call it, at TZ Cortez. And you can find me as always. If you're not even listening to this show based on what we do on this and playing Alex Jones, but being a flaming liberal on Blue Sky at DC <laughs> <laughs> All right, you find me and case. the show on Twitter. His mama named him Twitter. I'm a name. I'm a call him Twitter. Right here, right here. Yeah. <laughs> you can find us on Facebook or Instagram at Rip Chip Chat, and you can of course find us every Thursday night here on Beltway Radio and Beyond. I'm Chip. That says that Stacy. That Haley. You've been listening to Chip Chat on Beltway Radio and Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Street balls. <laughs>
show is like a custom feather Eddie in that knows words How can we stay late when our guest is Illy Bird In conclusion, the message is to go out and serve folks Whether that's through art, music, or if you just tell jokes Seek to medicate your ears, hope you eradicate your fears Thanks for sticking with us through all these years <laughs>